Hello. Hello. I see people are already here. How are you? Why is my game freezing? I actually loaded the world up this time. Come on. There we go. So, goals. Oh, you are looking to load up your own world so that you can play alongside. I feel so important. Thank you. That's awesome. Look at all this. All this iron. Dreading making a mob spawner. Okay, yeah. So, you've probably seen mine. The thing that I got down there. It barely functions. I don't like it. That's why I kind of started using this right here. But I'm not as much of a fan of that either. So I gotta figure out what to do. <sighs> Especially if I'm gonna get like ender pearls and whatnot. But I don't know if I really want to care about ender pearls. I gotta. I mean, I gotta get mobs somehow automatically farmed, right? So I'm thinking. I'm thinking we make one of those fans. Uh, one of these guys, mob fan. It's all in all, I mean, this is expensive, because a redstone block is actually a red alloy block, so I have to use a ton of redstone for that. It's like a stack at least for this. And that's just for one of them. So I gotta figure that out. Uh, is there a way I can farm redstone easier? Oh, you could use witch hats to make redstone, that's kind of fun. Interesting, how redstone blocks get turned back into redstone, but they're made out of red alloy. So that's unfortunate. Uh, oh, this takes a tier 3 seed. Yeah, I'm I'm nowhere near that. Because to make, oh my god, to make a tier 3 seed, you have to use a runic altar, a bunch of uh, intermediate dust, a uh, tier 3 crafting seed, and a red seed, and just, oh my god. That's a lot of stuff. Verdict crystal? Huh, I don't know how to make that either. Oh, mystical flower cluster. Okay, that's not hard. In theory, Bright Crystal is made out of a simple crystal, which is made out of Diamond and Redstone. Okay, so then how do you make an Arcane Forge? Mana Infused Dust, how do you make that? In an Arcane Forge, and also with simple crystals, which you have to... What? Arcane Construct, Molten Abyssal Knight, Liquid Starlight... Okay, yeah, I can't do that either. So, I'm confused then. So you have to have that. You have to have your, your dust. But to get the dust, you have to have had the thing that, There has to be another way to get simple crystals. We'll figure that out. Yeah, the mob spawner, I'm a little disappointed in. At least my own. We got a decent amount of iron now, though. I say decent. It's okay. It probably won't last me very long. My big concern, honestly, is uh, redstone at this point. Because I need tons of it. So I need to be constantly sieving dust. So it sounds like I need to upgrade this room. I was going to work on this off stream, and I did log on to do that. And honestly, I just started getting confused. Uh, I, I had, like, a backlog of stuff in there that wasn't actually going anywhere, and it's, it looks like it's gone now, like, the hopper only sometimes works, there's, it's just been problematic, so I'm actually going to rip it apart, and we're gonna just start over. Come on, hop down, there we go, that always makes me a little nervous. But yeah, we're gonna tear it down, we're gonna start over. We're not gonna have this anymore. There we go. Also, I did make a filter. I made an item filter so that it would stop grabbing things that weren't necessary. So it grabbed gravel, sand, and dust. Uh, and that's it. So that's pretty cool. Cancel that. It doesn't only grab those things. It blacklists those things. So it refuses to grab them. <laughs> That's better. Okay, do I have two buckets worth of water before I remove all this? Because what I'm thinking... I've got to figure out a way... to get all this running. I might make like a floor of these. And I'm pretty sure there's like a vacuum thing. Yeah, vacuumulator. So it's another device frame. So we got copper gears and all that. It's, it's, it's honestly not expensive. We get our device frame, we make ourselves some iron gears, a redstone servo, another hopper, and we get this thing. Collects items in an area, so I could put that up higher. 
about this vacuum chest? No, I can't make that anytime soon. Atom vacuum could make that, but probably won't. What about absorption hoppers? Is that this? No. Absorption hoppers. Okay, yeah, that, that looks pretty decent as well. I don't have an Eye of Ender, though. I guess I could make one. That's not too bad. I mean, the Obsidian I have tons of. The main problem is, do I have an Enderpearl to spend? And do I want to give up an Enderpearl? I do. I do have it. I could do that. Or I could just continue using this advanced item collector. It does the same job, to be honest, so I might as well do that, especially because I can filter it. So I might do that. The thing... Oh, you're done. The real thing is... How am I going to build this? You know, like, that's, that's probably the biggest concern here. How do I want to build this? So I could grab a ton of cobble. And I can make a little bit of a stairway here. Somewhere up around here so that it goes over top of this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Because I want this to be larger. Like, that's kind of the goal here. Can I just put that there and then this? Can this, like, literally get in the way of these blocks without it causing problems? Apparently, yes, it can. So then I can just have a floor that attaches to that. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Okay. I'm also going to need to slowly obtain more and more diamonds. So I'm probably going to start using this thing with what you call them? Um, gravel. Oh, come on. Because the gravel will give me the best chance of receiving diamond. There we go. Let's so pick that up. And I'm going to want this to probably be more centered, or coming off from the side in general. So let's see, do I have... Okay, no, I didn't go grab another bucket. Let's go grab another bucket. Also, Zeus, you haven't posted any screenshots from your world or anything on the Discord, man. I'm curious to see what kind of progress you've made. What was I doing? Right, bucket. Yeah, and that, that goes for anyone. Like, if anyone's playing along uh, or just doing their own thing, we got a pictures and stuff section in the Discord. Feel free to come by and share what you've got going on. It doesn't even have to be Minecraft related. Just show us what you're doing. I uh, posted a screenshot this morning from a boss kill I got last night. Um, I've streamed it before, but for those who do not know, I do play a fair bit of RuneScape. Which, I know, laugh all you want. I still enjoy the game. Um, and I've been playing RuneScape 3, which again, laugh all you want, I still enjoy the game. <laughs> but I specifically play it as an Iron Man because I find that more enjoyable. But I've been working on this account off and on for about five years. Um, I, I don't play super actively. I come and go. It just kind of all depends on my mood. Kind of like with Minecraft. If I'm not feeling a pack, I'm not going to play it. And I'll eventually go back to it maybe, but it all depends on my mood. Um, but I was working on that last night, and I finally decided to do a couple things. I did the quest called Brink of Extinction, or The Brink of Extinction, uh, which unlocked a mini-game. Uh, I think it was called The Fight Cauldron, or something like that. Uh, which allowed me to... Hello! Uh, which allowed me to go, uh, get Shards of Obsidian which I could then uh, forge into obsidian bars, which I then used uh, to make obsidian armor, because obsidian armor gives damage reduction in the fight kiln. So I went and did the fight kiln. Uh, that took a little over an hour, and I managed to get my very first kill on Harakin, who is the boss at the end of the fight kiln. 
And because I did the entire thing with magic, except for whenever I had to kill the dills, because you have to melee the, the armor off of them, uh, most of my damage was done with magic, therefore I got the magic cape. So I now have the best in slot uh, magic cape. The subscriber role on Discord is for being a Twitch sub. Yes, correct. That is correct. If I did it as a YouTube subscriber, it would probably get a little bit much. But yes, that is a thing. Is it not working for you? I will pull it up and double check. Yeah, it looks like there's only two people. Is the thing not working properly then? Hold on, let me see. Do, do, do. May I receive it? Of course you can. I just realized it wasn't working. Do you have the same name in Discord? I'm looking right now. I'm not seeing it. No, no, dear. You're in here somewhere. I know you are. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do, do, do. Rolls. Why won't it let me give you that roll? Nani. It doesn't give me that roll as an option. It shows other people having it. Do you have your Twitch linked to your Discord? Because if not, that might be the problem. I think I have it set up to where it'll automatically give you that roll when it detects that. Also, this worked. Check it out. This worked. It only grew the one direction so far, but it can still grow the other ways. But that worked. It's awesome. We can now grab those. Or farm those. But yeah, check to see if your Discord and your Twitch are linked, because if they're not, then that would definitely be the problem. It's linked? Well, then that doesn't make any sense. By the way, Crow, have you power leveled your pick in the nether? Uh, no, I have not. I'm honestly going to upgrade it first. I'm going to make it into like a cobalt pick uh, before I do all of that. But why do we not have... Oh my god, I just saw the picture you posted of your dog. Oh, that is cute. Hello, friend. Pretty baby. But yeah, it doesn't let me give that roll because it's supposed to be an automated thing. Hold on. Can I figure this out? My server settings, there you are. Rolls. This role is managed by an integration Twitch. It cannot be manually assigned to members. You can remove the integration to remove this role. Gotcha. So it is specifically in by Twitch, and I actually have no control over it. Hmm. Check your Twitch thing. Make sure it's the correct account. If you have more than one account, that might be the problem. Because I know we have people... It can't be a username thing, because we have people that have different usernames in Twitch, and it still shows for them... Also, we have a ton of obsidian now. Look at this. That's amazing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was working on a building. Okay, so... What I'm gonna do... Oh, I need stairs, actually. Let's make a few stairs. I don't know exactly how many I need, but 16 should be more than enough. So I want there to be room for maintenance, so I'm probably going to have it start here. And I need slabs. What's the screenshot button again? Uh, for Minecraft it's F2. I am 90% sure. <laughs> okay, I feel like that should be tall enough. 
And then down here, let's see, down here, it's fine. I just ended up using print screen while removing my account and re-adding it, fixed it apparently. Oh, did it? Let me check, noise, 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 noise. It's kind of dumb, but if it works, it works. So I'm going to try to make this go as far to the side as I can, I think. So we're going to do... How did you do this last time? I think I just had it out like that, yeah? I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, I kind of want to make more of these, though. So let me see. I think I needed some more treated wood, which actually... No, I have plenty. Uh, one thing I did while I was off camera is I did make some extra treated wood, I'm pretty sure. That sounds like a thing that I did. Let me see, where are you? There you are, treated wood. Oh my god. We're being family friendly. I don't know. I didn't look. <laughs> uh, anyway. So we need this guy. Who's made out of this guy? So I need more sticks. Then I need to make four of those so that I can make one of these. I also need regular sticks. Which I have billions of, which is amazing. And then I needed these. So I need stone gears. Do I have any of those laying around? I have three. Probably not all that I need, but I have three. Oh, yeah, this is another thing. Okay, I'll get to that in a second. I forgot I was doing a thing with that. I got some stuff prepared, but didn't actually finish making, and I forgot what it was. Because I'm great at this. Okay, so we're going to do... Actually, stop. Uh, it was... Like that? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was done like this. Yeah, and then we get our axles. So that I can make one of these. <laughs> it's a lot of work for just one water wheel. But that EMC value, though. Uh, so it was... I need more stone gears. How do you make the proper ones? The ones that it wants? Or does it, does it not actually matter? I guess I could do it that way. So it's like sticks and stones and broken bones and all that funny jokes. Let me grab more sticks. So this is going to make that kind of stone gear. I don't really think it matters. At least it better not matter. And let's see, we're going to do just a ton more. Of these, this should be enough for at least two. Yep. Do that. And do that so that I can make just a little bit more. I don't need too many. I don't think. Here's another water wheel. So this is going to give us, what, seven? Something like that. Whatever I can do to make this faster is what I'd like to do. So we're going to attach that there and attach that there. Yeah. Jesus. And then we're going to do an auto receive there. And then we will, at that point, then attach these up here. Perfect. And that's going to be the floor level of this area. So we're just going to attach those right there. Hopefully I can stretch this out farther. I don't actually know if it'll let me, but we'll see. And then it's just a matter of... Building the floor. Very nice. And this will... Uh, part of this will eventually get torn out. I'll probably have a few going out that way. I don't know the actual uh, true range that this can go. I was told it's 3x3, three three, but I've also seen that it might be larger. So that'd be pretty cool. Now the real struggle is figuring out how I want to automate... The bit's done. Oh yeah, I can't... I can't walk under this. Hmm... What's wrong, hun? Yeah. 
Oh. Is there anything that can be done about it? Which professor? No. Oh. Okay, now it can fit. Oh, stairs. I was like, wait a minute, this isn't right. So this actually should work just fine, so I can actually barely walk around under here. that. I guess this is okay. I mean, it doesn't look the nicest, but if it gets the job done, then I'm happy. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so now I can slap down some water. And I think what I'll do is put it... Oh, not there. I mean, I might as well put it here, right? Because that's going to be... Well, maybe not there. Can we do it like... Gonna, yeah, it's basically gonna have to be right there. Okay. So, yeah, let's grab more... stairs and more slabs. Just so that it could have some kind of texture in the back. That should be perfect. Okay, so we're going to uh, lay down a, a layer of slabs. Right here. Make it a full block. And then I think we're going to do... Oh, I can't actually get around that now. There we go. And then like this. Just so it has a very slight texture to it. Almost looks like a little... Waterway itself, that's kind of cool. All right, and then we can do this. Now, someone mentioned that it might work better if the water goes under it. I did not notice a difference in the numbers. So I'm going to assume that that's not the case. Actually, is that one too many? That's one too many, that's fine. I'm going to just block that off right there. Do that, and that should be fine. So what are we getting now? Uh, it's the wrong direction, so it has no rotational power. That's really stupid. I'm not sure why that matters. It really shouldn't matter, because it's... Whatever. So now I have to remove all of this. And do it again. This is going to be a little bit annoying. Yeah, I don't understand why that matters so much. Did I miss one? Oh, I missed one. Okay. Clear that out. I should really make an axe so that this is a little bit better. Okay, so I gotta go from this side now. Okay, so the water's gonna go here. So put this, not that, this here. And then attach that guy. And then we attach our sieves there. Perfect. Just cover that up, okay. Now we can redo the water. 
bucket there, bucket there, infinite source. And is that enough? As long as it ends there, yep, okay. Let's see that as a full block, actually. And then I can put that down there, perfect. How are we looking now? What? Why is it still negative? Do I have to have the water flowing in from this direction? Is that the problem? Uh, I don't understand this stuff. Why does it matter? I literally place these to where they're facing the opposite direction. So I guess it matters for uh, the direction which the water flows from? Kinda dumb, but okay. Can I just do that? Yeah. We have to fix this pick soon. Okay. Before I do too much, I'm just gonna lay this down here and place this. Is that correct? Okay, that is correct. I don't have to worry about that anymore. And this last one isn't flowing. So, how do I know which one I'm supposed to do this to? Because th this the sieve won't work here, because this one is considered the first one. None of this stuff makes sense to me. Why does it matter which side this goes on? Like, it really shouldn't. At all. So I gotta redo this again. Getting a little ridiculous. So put that there and then we'll attach this. No, not there. I think it needs to be attached here. And then auto sifter goes there. And block that off. Okay, now I can't get back out. Okay, but that... What the hell? So it doesn't work no matter which way I put- I'm- So if I bring it from this side, and have this at the end, over there, then it's on the wrong side, but if I mirror it completely, then it's still on the wrong side. Can anyone make sense of this? Because this is... This doesn't make sense. And see, when it's attached to that, it doesn't turn at all. What? And it won't turn at all. I. What if I do that? Will it turn now? It still doesn't turn. If I bring the water that way, it still doesn't turn. I. What? 
I'm starting to feel very frustrated. But that turns. Why does that turn? Hi, airlock. So those are facing west. One of them is facing- what the- Some of the wheels are facing different directions, sides matter- that's stupid! They are identical! All of the sides are identical! Where's- where's the raid alert? I didn't- what? I don't have any notification that you raided me. It might be a little bit broken because someone raided- or I tried raiding someone the other day and it never worked. I'm sorry, man. Well, if you raided me, man, I appreciate it. It's very kind, as you. Okay, now see, it's it's spinning from this direction again. So all all the spin rotation is here. But no, wait, because that's yeah. What? What? Why are only some of them spinning? I'm gonna lose my damn mind. What are you making? I'm trying to get an automatic sieve going. But this does not want to cooperate at all. Like, they're all facing the same direction now. They just don't want to do a damn thing. Okay, see, now they're starting to turn more. Oh, maybe it's because these have water against them? Okay, it's because those had water against them, but that doesn't explain why this side wants to spin first, no matter which side I put it on. But if I do it like this... Oh my god. Please. Game. Work with me here. Just a little. There we go. Oh my god, that was annoying. Okay, we fixed it. It works now, yay. That was a nightmare. Wait, where's my last sieve? Now I'm missing... Now I'm missing a sieve! Excuse me? How? Well, now we have to go make a new sieve. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, this game's getting on my nerves today. We are we are struggling. Why are, water is flowing on the front of some of them, canceling the movement. Okay, yeah. So that part I did manage to figure out. Oh, this is filled. Uh, we're going to need to start pulling some of this out. Feel your pain. No, dude, that 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 was Oh, that was starting to make me feel some kind of way. Okay, so we'll pull some of that out. We'll pull out some of the sticks. And some of the apples. We really we d we really don't seem to get very many seeds out of all this though. Or not seeds, uh leaves. Just a few stacks. Can't wait to have a sawmill, though. Okay, so I gotta do that. No. There. I'll just make one more sieve. By the way, crafting table on a stick is a thing. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. There we go. Okay, so that works. Now we can attach those again. Now, how do I want to automate this? So I gotta find a way to get that going. So I think what I'll do... Okay, I'm gonna put a hopper into it here. Well... I might want to have 
I'll try to spread it out that way first, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to do a hopper here. No, that will not work. That will not work. How can I do this, then? Because up here is where I'm going to do the item collector. Speaking of, I can probably just go ahead and seal off this area. And then at the top there, we'll do a, another slab. So that way this is, uh, the whole ceiling of this is bottom half slab, which means it's not spawnable. But I should still be able to put things on it. And we're out. And this will help things from like flying away and whatnot, so that'll help a lot. I don't want items getting thrown into the void. It'll give me a place to set down the item collector. So I can put it like right there. No? I can't put it right there. Okay. Oh, that's right. It has to go against the chest. Ah, uh, well that makes me kind of change my mind a little bit. How did this, how did I make this again? Okay, it wasn't too expensive, but it did still cost me an enderpearl. Cool, so I have somewhat of an enclosed area. Well, I have an area with a ceiling. I can actually close it in. Like I said, this will help a lot with making sure that items don't get flung around while the seething process happens. So I do not want that. Okay, this should probably be spawnable. Yeah, that's spawnable now, so I actually need to go grab some torches. Light the place up a little bit, and then I gotta figure out how to automate that in a smart way. Where did I put all my torches? I know I had plenty. No, I mean, I probably just dumped them into a chest and took off. I could do that thing. Okay, so torch. There they are. I love that feature. Just double clicking on the search bar so it turns yellow. Whatever you type in will be highlighted. Everything else is grayed out. It's really nice. Okay, how's this? New. No. It was now one space in the middle. Whatever, that will eventually go away. That is fine. Okay, so at this point, where am I going to put the chest? Let's see. I could do the chest, like, in the ceiling. So I can put it here, and then do that there. That works. I mean, it's not super attractive, but it'll get the job done temporarily, and if I, don't, if I run out of space in that, which I definitely will, then I can always switch it out. So now, let's do... Actually, let's do a little bit more slabbage right here. And then we'll raise this up a tad. I need more slappage. Maybe I really should make that crafting table on a stick thing. It would definitely save me some time running back and forth. So how was that? It was a uh, crafting table on a stick. So it requires a sign and then just a regular crafting table. Okay. So do that and that crafting table on a stick. So now I can do things a little bit easier now. I don't understand the science behind that, but fine. 
that there. And put that there. All right, so now I can seal this off. Like this. Oh, come on. Like this. Very nice. Now, it's still pretty open, but it makes me feel like I have an actual place to go. So that alone makes me feel a little, a little, bit, better. A little bit better. Okay, but what about this other detail here? So I could definitely put the stuff down back here. With the block placer and the mechanical user and whatnot. And then I can use, like, item ducks. I'm pretty sure I have an extra servo as well. So I can make that work. Item ducks. I'll grab a few of these. Should have a servo. Actually, yes, it's right there. Nice. Okay, I'm going to need to uh, put a lever down. Which, yeah, okay, I do have one of those. So we're going to do, right here, we're going to have a mechanical user. Go right there. We're going to do a block placer. Right there. And that's going to have a lever. That's not going to work. This needs to go one block higher. Where did it... Did the... Did this eat it? It did! Look at that, it ate them both! Okay, well we know that it works pretty fast now. That's cool. Ah, oh, that's one space away. Come here. Did I get it? Yes. Okay, right against here. So block placer is gonna go here. Mechanical user is going to go here. And then I need a hopper that's going to catch it. Right? So we're going to grab this to go there, which luckily it can accept inventory. And then if I can do that, beautiful. Which I might not even end up needing to have the, uh, the doodad. Okay, so we're going to do a block placer there and we're going to test it with cobblestone. Oh, right. Uh, use item on block, upper left, left click, U. Looks like it's working. This should not be able to suck that up because of the placer. And look at that. Oh, that feels way better. And then it explodes out, does its thing, and it'll get sucked into there. That feels pretty good. Okay, so with that, what I could do is I could actually run item ducks all the way over to here, to this drawer controller, and it would auto-fill into these. The problem is with that, is these are uh, a little limited in their storage size. But hey, we have automatic resource production. Check that out. The only thing we don't have uh, attached to this is uh, a cobblestone generator, which I could definitely do. But for now, we're just going to grab a whole chest row of cobblestone. And I do have to have it in this form. And boop, there we go. And this will actually gain XP as it works. And once it actually, ooh, it already has a, a modifier open. So once it gets another level up, I can attach two more things of reinforcement, which will save its durability. And then I could do one more after it levels up a, a third time. And we're just good. Yeah, look at that. I didn't even need to attach a servo or anything. It just just does its thing. Check that out. Excuse me. Now if I could just get more diamonds for this. Impregnated diamond, I'm sorry. 
What is that for? Familiar receptacle. Or is used for making a crystalline ingot. My god. Which is used for what? A creative modifier. Wow. Okay. You have to make creative essence. Yeah, that's going to be... Oh, God. Yeah, that's going to be a minute. It's going to be a long minute. Uh, what I think I'm going to do, though, is I am going to make one of these storage bins over here. And I'm going to replace that chest with one of these. How does that work again? So I think I needed... Grab some wood here. I think I needed four chests. And let's see. Storage. Yeah. And the storage bin records void crystal. Okay, I'm not to that point just yet. So I need a log. Actually, I can just grab from up here. Log. Sticks. Void casing. Come on, don't freeze. Storage crate. I think I said bin before, but it's crate. Dude, dude, what? Wait a minute, are these your emotes? <gasps> I didn't even pay attention. These are your new emotes. Dude, look at you. That's amazing, man. I love it. There we go. And fill back up. Yeah. Don't want that in there, though. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay. That's a much larger area. Take this gravel. Doesn't need to be there. Oh, the gravel's getting thrown around now. Why? So we do experience some loss with this setup for some reason. Like, sometimes the gravel just gets thrown away. And I'm not really sure why. I'm going to try something here, though. I'm going to block that off. Does that help? That might help. That might have helped. Problem is, I can't actually be putting a whole thing of 9 in there because this only holds 32. And then we're going to get stuck on that, so... Eventually it's going to keep breaking, but we won't be able to keep up with this stuff. Uh, not unless we get this running faster, which I honestly don't really see happening at this point. Any diamonds yet? No, we got an emerald, though. That's kind of cool. So this this whole thing does definitely work. Uh, <laughs> I just realized our streams are perfect. Mine ends pretty much as soon as yours starts. Look at that, man. It's because of the suction. Wait, what suction? Which suction are we talking about here? Are we talking about the vacuum suction? This? Because it shouldn't... That shouldn't be a thing because of this item filter. This tells it to blacklist... Uh, gravel and whatnot. It's just occasionally it doesn't make it into the hopper. So we end up with loss. There. Now that should be completely sealed off. It might be because it gets the the next block gets placed so quickly. That might be part of it. Ooh, but I just got another idea for how to get resources. Okay, let me check it out. I'm gonna look up Lens of the Miner here. Cool. Okay. Okay. This is actually fine. Oh, it needs smoky quartz for that. How do we... Hmm. There's got to be a way. Molten black quartz. Oh, wait. Isn't smoky quartz just... Um... Yeah, okay, never mind, we're good. So yeah, that all should be possible. I might be able to make a lens of the miner. 
because uh, the lens of the miner attaches to... What's the thing called? It's the laser thing. From Actually Editions. Uh, it's not in here, though. I'm trying to remember. Okay, how do you make a void crystal? Atomic Reconstructor, that's what it was. And, okay, that's actually pretty cheap, too. I was expecting this to be a lot more difficult. We might be in some money here. So I should have quartz laying around. There we go. Now, was it quartz surrounding coal, or was it coal sur- I think it was quartz surrounding coal. Kind of sucks, because I don't have a tremendous amount of this, but... Yep, smoky quartz. And I'm going to toss that in here with this. I was really hoping that it was going <laughs> to... It was going to double it. I knew it wouldn't, but... I just had that little bit in my brain that was like, but what if, though? Okay, so we get our black quartz. That's perfectly fine. And then we can move it into making iron casing, which is any kind of stick. The black quartz. The black casing is then used with some iron and redstone to make an atomic reconstructor. Now, we do still need to figure out a power source. But that might not be too difficult. Oh, that was a quest. Where are we looking? There we go. Then it's looking to go into the Empowerer after that. But yeah, this is the next step. So we need to do... What was it? It was... Like that. I think like this. And like that. I did it the opposite order, didn't I? Every time. There we go. All right, so then we can do that. And now I just need a little bit of redstone dust. Which I hopefully have. If not, I do have dust that I can probably just toss into the sieve thing. I'm not seeing any. Speaking of, how is this thing doing? Is it too full? Yes. I'm going to remove that because it is too full. And this will just kind of do its thing. Oh, it got a little bit out of, out of sync there. Did it slow down? I don't think so. It shouldn't have. No, that all looks like it's going the same speed. Okay, I have no idea. But still no diamonds yet. Hmm, two emeralds though, okay. Eventually we'll get enough to make another diamond sieve. And then we can go from there. But for now... What was I doing? Because my memory is terrible. <laughs> I completely forget everything that I try to do. Um, right, right, I was needing redstone. Which should just be in here. And then I can grab that. And do like this. And like this. And this. Yes! Atomic Reconstructor, there we go. I was about to say, did we not get an achievement for that, really? Cool, alright. So now we need power. And I gotta think of a good way to make power, and honestly, I'm thinking tree power. Oh, these grew again. Look at that. It spreads on its own. It's beautiful. Eventually, I'll find a way to automate that as well, but for now, this is fine. Where was I storing these? In there. Okay, cool. But yeah, so there's the arboreal extractor. I would probably need several of those for this to be worth it, though. Uh, thermal pile or water wheel from the same mod. Uh, 
thermophile. Oh, right, because that kind of takes the place of the thermoelectric generator because of that. Oh, that actually requires a thermophile or whatever. Double tungsten plate, fine copper wire. I don't have that much tungsten. A bunch of constantin. I, I don't have that much tungsten. I mean, I could do a water wheel. Actually, yeah, that's not expensive. I was thinking that was going to be a lot worse. We could, we could absolutely do that, actually. I have three ingots of steel right here ready to go. And that would be enough for one water wheel setup. And then I just need like 12 uh, treated doodads, which I have more treated wood here. There we go. So it's something like this, and then we make these. I need way more than that. Okay, so that was a limitation for the sticks then. That was about now. Nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then it should be like this with the three steel ingots, and then we have water wheels. Very good. And so that is going to be our power setup for a minute. Also, I don't know if you guys have looked into... Wait, overpowered gardening. Oh yeah, have you guys looked into the garden cloche? Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, it's dumb. Uh, vibrant quartz, greenhouse glass, topiary uh, grass, pulsating. That requires... It's, it's, there's a lot happening. There's a lot happening in here just to make the garden cloche, but I mean, at the same time, the garden cloche is really strong. So it's pretty fair. Now, what was I doing with it? Oh, right. I should probably make a separate area for this. Now, I've kind of only given myself access to two branches. I could use these as corridors to go into something. Or I could use this as where I can stick some... Uh, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I could, I could fit water wheels in here. But I don't think that would look very good. So instead I could fit water wheels heat now because this, this room is too small for that. This area in general is too small for that. Still no diamonds. This is still chugging along though, is it? Yeah, okay. Still no diamonds. But, plenty of all of the other resources. How are we looking in here? Put some gravel back in. Okay, I guess what I'll do is I will continue our path here. I think that's the best route to take. I might also allow it to branch out slightly. So instead of just having room, 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 I can like go into here, have a hallway where I could then branch into other rooms or something. Because I don't want to just make my entire base one really long hall filled with multiple rooms. Or I guess I could start doing other floors though, right? I could do that, actually. I could do that. So yeah, I will keep this area walled off for the time being. I think that's more than it was. That's definitely more than it was. Ooh, we leveled up our pick though, nice. But it does look like I lost a wall somewhere along the way somehow. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, chisel is a thing to use if you want variety with the same block. This is true. Chisel is always nice. 
I will eventually get around to doing that, but for right now, I'm not focusing too much on aesthetic. <gasps> we got a diamond. Yay. <laughs> Finally. How many do we even have? None over here. Mild concern. Do I have any? Ooh, do I have any? Doesn't look like it. I might not. Okay. So that could take even longer than I originally thought. Nice. There. Right, so I can do water wheels. Let's see. How do I want to do this again? Or I could do an entrance to the new place. Like, in here. Using stairs. You put a block there. I really wish that they would add block placement like that into the main game. Like, I know people would probably be like, Oh, that's not, that's not how that works, but like... I mean, that's really nice. And it saves so much time. Can I... Yes. It never fails to make me nervous. Trying to place blocks like this. There we go. Okay, so this is probably plenty of room. Maybe I go one further down. That should be fine. And then I can branch out. Oh, no. There we go. Branch out like that. That should be plenty of room. Whew, okay. <laughs> oh, that always freaks me out a little bit. All right. So I have a staircase there. So this can be like the ore section. This could be like turned into something else. Probably involving cobblestone production or something. I don't know. The cobblestone production can happen there and transfer over to here, I guess. Figure that out. I'll try to make it the exact same dimensions. In fact, I'll even close it in. Maybe. I don't know if I want to completely close it off, though. At the very least, I could put down pillars like this. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so that goes to there. Bring this around here. I'm a little excited about this, though, so we can do... Uh, we basically use an atomic reconstructor with a, uh, with a lens of the miner. Um, we get something to constantly produce smooth stone for us. And then we use a block breaker or a block placer rather to automatically place the stone and then something to detect that it has become an ore and then the ore can then get mined Might have to do some redstone finagling to get it to work the way I want it to, but I think it can work. Now, also for the water wheels that I just made to work, I'm going to need to make a kinetic dynamo, which I completely forgot about. Let's see, how do you make that? I can't spell kinetic, apparently. I type in that. Oh, starts with an I. 
iron grate machine block. It's some kind of smooth stone surrounded by iron bars. Okay, honestly, and it makes four of them? That's pretty cheap. Copper is all the same except that requires that, which requires titanium for some reason. Okay. Um, but that still makes four. So two titanium for that. Uh, and that's it? Yeah, okay. That's not bad. Really thought they were going to try to shove some overly expensive crap on me, but I mean, sure, titanium is a little bit annoying, but it's not that bad. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip these bits out. And we're going to replace them with upside down stairs. It doesn't make a difference, it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Now down here is going to be really dangerous, so I think I'm going to put a to wait, is this? This is even, this isn't odd. Seriously? How did I screw that up? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I'll just do it like this then. And then that in the center. Okay, that's... That's fine. That's not too bad. I'll make it look a little bit prettier later on. I should probably... At the very least, add some kind of wall coming down this way. So that I can't just walk off the ledge. Oh, this is spawnable. And this is spawnable. Well, this one I can actually fix really easily. Just do that number. Yeah. Oh, right. Crafting table on a stick. I don't have to run around anymore. Forgot about that. Also, diamond? Ah, two of them. Yay. Okay, and then we'll do a wall there. And then... It's pretty ugly, though, doing it like that. I might, I might just seal the thing off. Oh, well, there, the, <laughs> there, there go those. All right. I might just seal off this with a, with a flat wall. I was trying to avoid it just because it doesn't look the nicest having just a cobblestone box, you know, but... I mean, like what you were saying before, Zeus, chisel is a thing. I can always just take advantage of that. There we go. We just have a flat wall. Okay. It gets the job done, at least. So now we have a second story. That's kind of cool. Why do I have this in my hand? Did I get that from a reward earlier? Oh, yeah. Well, that's a little upsetting because I actually made that before. I made this blueprint. I don't know if I did that on stream or not. But yeah, I have that blueprint in there. So now I have a duplicate. Whoops. But I do have this other one. For a bunch of... Oh, for bullets, actually. You can make bullets with that. Nice. Okay. We getting a little America in here. Actually, I saw a joke. Uh, I think it was yesterday. Kind of poking fun at uh, how America refuses to jump on the metric system. Uh, and it was someone making the comment, I mean, you use the metric system to measure your bullets. And that's very true. <laughs> That is a thing that happens. So we refuse to jump on the metric system, except when it comes to guns. Okay, black quartz. What was I doing? Right, I needed to make a lens of the miner. Now, okay, for some reason I thought it was going to take ore, but it doesn't. It does require a diamond, though, which kind of sucks. We're also going to need... Another bit of quartz. The last bit of quartz that I have. Piece of 
gold. What else was it? A piece of gold, iron, lapis, and an emerald. Uh, iron. I have lapis over here and an, and emeralds. Emerald, lapis. Let's just kind of check things off. So we have cold. Da, 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 look at that. Okay, we got all of that except for the diamond. I hate that I have to spend one, but it can actually net us more in the future too. So grab that. Is this still going? Yeah. And let's see. Can we make it? Nope, we still need the coal. And then we need an actual lens, which is a piece of black quartz surrounded with glass. Just regular glass. So here's five regular glass. Is that it? Is that all we got? Now one thing is, I don't think I've tried making regular glass with the upgraded furnace. So I'm a little curious if it will double the output. Let's give it a shot. So we're going to grab that. Actually, here's our coal. And I am going to need one more bit. Does that double our output like it did with the clay? It does. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that. I don't know if that was like an intended feature. I'm sure it was because there's so many things going on in this that it's almost it's really unlikely that they would have accidentally left something in like that okay so we have our lens i don't know if we get an achievement for that one but and then our lens of the miner very cool now i don't know if this water wheel is going to provide enough power to be honest my gut says no but my heart says please so how do I want to do this? Uh, oh, I should probably go actually make that kinetic dynamo. So I needed titanium, which I think I have in here. Yeah. And I think I actually only needed two pieces, but I will make a little extra. Just in case. Oh, is this coming? Okay, as soon as this is done cooking, I will toss the titanium in there. I might have enough fuel left over to be able to cook the rest of this. But the fact that it doubles the glass, that's really nice. I like that a lot. And this thing's really cool. I don't know exactly how much power it requires, though, so we'll have to see. But there we go. Titanium ingots are made. Now I need some copper. I do have a little bit of. I'm pretty sure if I remember right, I need to grab... Okay, I have the shears. I have this hammer. So we are... Did I not grab that copper? Apparently not. I think I just need this little bit. So basically... We do that. Then we use shears. Oh. We're going to need a good bit more copper. <laughs> So do I have any in here? Got Dawn Stone Steel. Nothing that it looks like it would alloy with, which is perfect. So we're going to just grab all of that. Actually, that was all of our copper. Toss that in there. We'll slowly pull it out later. Okay, we're getting plenty of iron, but we're not getting a whole lot of most other things. The coal is kind of nice, though. So let's do... Actually, let's do a whole nother... No, I can't. Whatever. I'll just toss it in. Okay. And we'll start grabbing some of this out. Okay, so that's going to be enough for the first bit, I think. So it goes like this, was it, in titanium? No? How did that work again? Kinetic dynamo, this, this. Oh, it's a ton of copper wire. Okay, well...
Here we go. This is about done. I do like that it automatically pulls the last thing that I did. Grab that, split that, gimme. Okay, so use the shears again. And then it was what? It was like a whole ring of this, then the titanium? Yes, and it makes tons of copper coil, which is amazing. And then one copper coil with four of those makes... Yeah, okay, so I still need like... Yeah, I still need to do this. Now, eventually I'll have a means of like... Making, I'll, I'll have a way of making this more efficiently, but for right now, this is kind of the best I got. And then crafting table on a stick. Do that with two copper coils. We get the LV wire coil, and then I combine that with a piece of iron, which I actually don't have on me. Bit of iron, LV coil. Now we have a copper coil. And then I needed to make this stuff. So I actually need a few more bits of iron. And I should have a bit of smooth stone laying around, maybe, unless I spent it all. I might have spent it all. Actually, I think I did, yeah, because I was making... Oh, wait, no, here's some. I lied. So we do that. Wait, we do this. And then do that. And we have that. And then we need two red alloy ingots. We should have enough redstone for that, I hope. Yes, we do. I grabbed one extra, but that's fine. Okay. So cook those up real quick. I almost used the treated sticks. Would have been a little sad with that. And then that'll be it. That'll be our kinetic dynamo. So that's amazing. Uh, I will keep the engineer's hammer on me just because that is uh, how we can turn the stuff around. Also, I just remembered I was going to make something before and I got things set up to make it off camera. And I was going to go ahead and make it, but then I forgot. I know it involved this. It was something important. And it required a machine frame, which involved uh, ineffable glass, which I have made. What was it? <laughs> I was working on it the entire last stream. Okay, here's the ineffable glass. I should have the light engineering block laying around somewhere, right? I'm pretty sure I made that. Did I not? Yeah, there you are. Whoops, so I can use this and the four bronze gears, which I should also have. And I know I'm getting a little bit sidetracked, it's fine. It's fine. Where did I put those? There they are, and I'm pretty sure I also needed these copper gears as well. Right, so to make that, we use that. So now we have a machine frame. Ba-boom. Do we get an achievement? Yay! Oh. We had that achievement from probably a long time ago. Okay, where was the one that we just did? It was for thermal. Where's the thermal stuff? Is it in here? No. Is it here? No. 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 Oh, it was here. Oh, there was no prize for it. It's just do that thing. And then what was I going to do with it? Was it the compactor? Or was it something else? I feel like it was something else. Ooh, wait a minute, actually.
Oh, no, that's just complete, too. Cool. Um, I just thought about something. Something else I can use this for. None of these are what I was going to make, but what I'm thinking of is also not what I was originally going to make. Ooh. Oh, right, the mob duplicator. We're not there yet. Oh, we can make a sawmill! I mean, that'd be pretty nice. I'm not going to just yet, but that, that could be very nice. Um, do a pulverizer, but I'm not going to do that. We could do a compactor. Actually, I think that is what we were looking at. I think. Oh no, it was this! It was this guy, because this is how we make uh, the tofu stuff. Right. It was this guy, so I needed the Constantin plates. I might have already made those. I mean, I might as well just go ahead and make this now. So yeah, that was, uh, we need the redstone uh, stuff. Okay, yeah, we got that. I need a compass. Is the compass made the same way? It is. That's amazing. I'm going to put you away. And I need to put you away. Okay, let me go grab that last bit of redstone. And I don't have the iron on me. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm kind of running all over the place right now, but... Eventually this will all come together. Why did I only grab one iron? Yeah, this is also I can make like the the cake so I can like advance through the quest and whatnot. Okay, and then there was the it's like the centrifugal. There we go. And it just needs the constant in plates, which I'm pretty sure I made. Yes, there they are. This guy. Achievement? Yeah. Centrifuge. Now, I might also be able to make, like, a survive oops. a survivalist generator for super cheap. Yeah, some cobblestone and a furnace. Yeah. Now, it's not very efficient power by any means. But it is power. And I can use that very temporarily. Except do I really need to? I mean, I'm literally about to build a water wheel setup. Also, is this still going? Yeah. I'm just about to build a water wheel setup, so I really don't think it'd be worthwhile to do that. Uh, so let's see. Let's just go ahead and do that there. Yeah, right there. And then we'll do you. Oh, I love the design of this. This might be too small. This feels slightly too small. Maybe I should push this out slightly. Yeah, I'm going to push it out slightly out to the side or maybe underneath this area. Because I need there to be room for the water to flow. And there should be space right here. Okay, cool, cool. So we're going to do a few cobble here. I'm going to need a little bit more. But oh, we're starting up a heist? I'm down for a heist. I'll get in on that. Got more cobble. We've been making a good bit of progress. We're not even two hours in. And I think we're doing pretty well so far. And then I can bring this down prematurely, apparently, and do that. There we go. Okay, and then I can put the water wheels against this. Like so. So now there's plenty of room for water to flow around it. And I can still have... I never made the kinetic dynamo. 
<laughs> I made all the pieces for it, but I didn't actually do the thing. Okay, so it was like this, like this, and like this. There we go. Beautiful. We'll slap that there. Nice. Now, I never remember which side this actually needs to face. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so it was like this. I want to say it's like that, and then I can export the power from there. And I could probably just attach flux ducts to that as well. That'd be pretty handy. All right, so let's come out this way. See if I can remember how to do this in the most efficient fashion. Gotta stop doing that prematurely. I'm not even going to make that joke. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to bring that around. See, that goes a bit too low. I'm going to go to there, I think. And, oh, bad luck. Unless you're me. Ha 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 ha. Hashtag not rigged. All right, so let's see. Can I bring this around? Slightly off center, isn't it? By like one block, yeah. So the water's gonna flow down through here, I think? Wait. Okay, I was about to say, did it just eat my water? Apparently I can't check that. Yes, okay, so it'll flow that way. Into that block. So I'll do it here, and bring this around, and do this. Can I reach under there? Not with all that in the way, apparently. Come on, man, let me do this. Okay, what I'll do then is rip a few other pieces out, and that should let me... Yeah! Beautiful. Okay, so that way there's actually room for water to flow. Excellent. And then bring that back in. Okay, so I can do... How do I do this? It's been a minute since I've, de uh, since I've designed one of these, and there is a way of building this that makes the like the most power efficient water wheel you basically want flowing water facing as many points into that as possible um in a certain direction of course i'll deal with a cactus later I, I just I, honestly i need to automate that cactus thing oh, are we done here nope and we are having some really bad luck with the diamonds we're getting plenty of emeralds we don't really need those right now. Those aren't going to help us at the moment. Oh, well. Let's bring this across the top. And let's see. I think I'll have the water flowing down this way, maybe? So we'll come up here. And do I have two buckets? I do have two buckets. I'm actually going to need a third. Yeah, place one there. Place one there. They do not automatically flow into one another. So I have to go grab a third. Oh, wait. I can just... I got infinite sources. Right there. Perfect. And I can put that right... Come on. There. Very good. So now those are all flowing at the same speed. And then I can bring it around a little bit as well. So we're going to grab some more of this. And then over here, we're going to do some tricksy stuff. So I'm going to bring this in this way. Bring that in that way. And then we're going to do this. There we go. So that should help 
No, no, it is not helping. It is making it worse. So it needs to be... I don't think I... Yeah, I can't put that there. That gets stuck. So then I guess it needs to be a block down then. Right here? That feels right. Okay, and then we can do that and that. And that's going to wipe out all my torches down there. <laughs> Ugh, all right, well. Get one of all, I guess. There we go. Block that off, block that off. So we have water flowing into that section. We have water flowing down this way. Block that off, block that off. Is that? Nope. Okay, gotta keep that there. Oh, and miraculously, that didn't break any of my torches. Nice. Okay, so this is going pretty fast. Can I make it faster? I think that's about as fast as I can make it. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty certain that's as fast as I can make it. So then at that point, let's just grab some slabs. I can probably fill in those uh, areas that were causing me problems with slabs as well, instead of having them as full blocks. Bring that around there. I'm just making sure that none of these are even considered spawnable under normal means. Do that, remove that, and put it in there. I do like to be able to see that the water's flowing. Might not look the best, but I like to see that the water's flowing. And then I think I can even come in here and remove that there. All right. So there, whoops. There is a water wheel. That is power generation. And that feels kind of good. There we go. It's a little ugly. <laughs> it's really ugly, but it's efficient and that's what counts. So now we can actually set up some stuff down here. Uh, namely, this would actually be one of them. Can I just slap that against that and let it get power? This would be a great way to determine if this is correct. Also the wrong hammer. There we go. And none of those work, so I guess I have to somehow pull power out of this in a different way. Ooh, I should also make, like, a power cell, or one of those energy cells. Leadstone? Oh, do we not have... Oh, it's just called basic. Okay, so energy cell frame, and then you make that into that. Okay. Looks like the recipe for that is basically the same. It just requires a little bit of electrum. Okay, which is only slightly different. Hold on, we got a mild problem here. Let me just fix this. This I can actually just completely remove. Don't need that frame there. Boom. Ta-da! I might remove these and turn them into stairs. Do I have stairs on me? No, but I can make some. Let me do that real quick. So I can remove this. Put that there, remove this, put that there. There. I think that looks a little smoother, yeah? I can't put it down to the next one, I don't think, because, oh, well, maybe I can, actually. Oh, I totally can. Check that out. It doesn't get in the way of anything. That's kind of nice. Awesome. So we can see that it's there. We go by. There's our power source. Keep going. Cool. 
<sighs> I'm just, I'm feeling excited, man. We're, we're making progress. And that's amazing to me. All right, so let's do... I need a, a lead gear. I need some glass and some iron. Did it specifically have to be... No, okay, cool. So that's ineffable glass. I don't want to use that. That is valuable. There you are. I needed a lead gear. Do I have lead in here? No, I don't. Should definitely have some lead over here, though. There we go. So we'll toss in the lead. We'll let it do its thing. Oh, that's really quick. Nice. I'm pretty sure it just takes the one, doesn't it? Like, I just need one lead gear. Yeah, but I am also going to need some more lead ingots, though. I mean to do that. There we go. Keep forgetting about the compress button. So there's four. And gear. Actually, I didn't need to put away the ingot cast. And more lead. There we go. So I need two more ingots of that. I'm also going to need an ingot of electrum. There we go. Electrum. No. Is there a way to like... Oh. Honestly, that's... I mean, that's cheaper with redstone. If I did it with an alloy kiln. Even cheaper still with an alloy furnace. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, some of these are pretty good, but an alloy furnace, I'm not gonna be able to make that. Whew, I'm not gonna be able to make that for a long time. Yeah, that's, that's not happening. And I don't think I have any just laying around either. Am I going to have to make that kiln? I was kind of hoping to avoid it, but... I probably can't. I'm trying to remember how you even make it. Are they called, like, kiln brick? Yeah, kiln brick. There it is. Oh, they're cheap, though. Sandstone and brick. Do I just have those laying around? Uh, I probably don't have the sandstone, but I might have the brick. I do kind of remember making more than I needed when it came to brick, but I guess I might have spent it, though. Yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere. All right, then what about clay? I know we've got dust laying around, right? Right. I'm fixing to just say screw it and just I think I'm just gonna say screw it and make it out of the make it out of the redstone which ooh, I actually don't think I have enough though because I need oh yeah no I need a whole block of the stuff okay okay if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do it this way also let me do let me look up flux duct Cool, that's just regular fl Okay, you know what? Let's start with that. We're just going to start with that. I'll move on to the rest in a little bit. Uh, how much gravel do we have left to sift through? Because if we don't have much, I might go ahead and fill it up with dust. Oh, it's done. Okay. We only are up to three diamonds. That's, that's unfortunate. I'm going to grab some dust. We're going to throw it in there. Let it do its thing. I know we have dust laying around. I've seen it. There you are. I knew it. It's making myself feel paranoid. Like, is it really there? Ooh. And I'll just put it right in the hopper. 
But it still says that there's gravel in there. That's not right. That's going to just take a little bit to get through. Hopefully we start getting uh, redstone out of it immediately. We did not, but we do get blaze powder, though, so that is kind of cool. I just really wish we got red or diamond from it. So I don't really have many ways of obtaining that. Diamond shard? And carbon ingots? Whoa! Never mind, that's really expensive. That's, that's far away from me. Hey, we got a piece of redstone. Nice. Okay, so that'll slowly start making that. We won't get a lot out of it. We don't have a whole lot of dust, but... Gets the job done. Okay, so we get this. A couple pieces of glass. And Oh, no, I think it's one piece of glass. And two lead? Yeah, there you go. And then we'll just go downstairs. And see what happens if I do that. And we'll attach you into there. And you do not get power. Why do you not get power? I mean, clearly it's making a connection. Am I missing something? If you add more sieves, uh, even if they are iron, you will get diamonds just uh, by pure volume. That's true. That's true. The thing is, is I don't know if it'll auto-sieve with iron as well. I guess I could try it. I don't understand why the thing's not making power, though. I mean, that is plugged directly in. Okay, that was not any slower or any faster. Though I did get the Electrum boost. Uh, also, can't the uh, kinetic gen only output output through the? Oh, is it through the top? I don't think I've ever done it like that. But if it's, I mean, maybe. Uh, so far, no. Nope. That was not it. I know I've attached it to the side before. Maybe it's because I'm not using the proper connector and I'm using a different mod, though I'm pretty sure that I've used that before. I didn't have any problems. Cool, those still work. There you go. I'll do uh, gravel here in a minute. Is this almost done? Yeah, actually, yes. Yes, it is. I'll just go fill it up with some more gravel then. And let it do its thing. That should go through much faster. Yeah, I was avoiding all that just because I wanted to get the most out of the gravel, but at the same time, I can make it very easily now, so there's no real reason. There we go. I wonder how far you can expand this. Give me that. Hey, we, we got a little bit of bone meal, though. Cool. I guess. Okay, so I guess the next step would be... Like an LV connector or something.
with wire. Really wanting to avoid that. There you are, LV connector. Along with an MV or LV relay. It's going to require some terracotta and whatnot, but honestly, that's not that big of a deal. I did just use all of my dust, though. So I'm going to have to produce a little bit more if I'm going to make more clay. Which I guess is fine. And then I need a bucket. There we go. Okay, and then I can just cook that directly up. I wonder if it'll double the output of that. Five times, or five by five is the max size? Ooh. Okay, so I'm on my way to that already. No, it doesn't double that, sad times. I was really hoping. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need more than that, though. Yeah, I'm going to need, like, six in total. Oh, no, that's fine. So there's that. I need some copper, which I have. So there's connectors, and then to make relays, it's two ingots. I only have the one left. I don't think I really need the relays right now, though. I was really hoping to avoid that. I don't even know if this is going to work, though, to be honest. Because I'm looking at this, and it says zero of zero. So it's acting like it's just not producing any at all. Let's see. Before I do anything else, let's see if it actually gives me information about it. May learn more in the engineer's manual. Okay. How do you make the engineer's manual again? It's like a, yeah, it's a book with a lever. Okay, that's not that bad. Then I can look up information. Whoa, wait a minute. This goes taller than three? Look at that. Okay, I, I can just let that thing go. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I need a piece of cobblestone. Put away the terracotta. Grab a stick. Then I need a couple of stencils. need a piece of string, and I need three pieces of paper, paper, pattern, string, book, lever, manual. Okay, can I have dynamo in here maybe? No, overview? No, can I just type it in? Power generation. Using these dynamo will generate power. This didn't actually give me any information that I needed. Yeah, that, that didn't give me any information that I needed at all. Okay. Unfortunate. So then, what am I doing wrong? Because this is connected directly to it. Okay, we'll try the top.
does not seem to help. I'm very confused right now. I need to grab like four more ingots of copper. Which actually, didn't I just pour that? Yeah. Easiest way. I can do this. Now, if this works, then I might be able to get, uh, I might be able to make my life a little bit easier. Okay, that's still going there, so then I can do that to here, and then just link those there. That still doesn't work. Why? Um, I'm very confused. This should be working. I can't think of a, I can't think of a reason as to why it wouldn't be working. I'm Googling it. <laughs> I'm Googling it. I can't, I can't figure this out. Okay, let's see. So there's the recipe for it. Then it uh, must be place, then right click on the face with the device the player wishes to use to spin the dynamo. Huh? Wait, so... Does that mean I need to remove this? And place it in like that but that doesn't place though that doesn't place though there we go okay That also might have been an old article. Okay, that looks like they're all in sync now. That fixed it! Okay, wow. So, that means that possibly this will now work if I just use the flux ducts. Yep. <laughs> that did it. It's very slow power generation. But... It is power generation. And that's nice. So I can make an igneous extruder, which I don't think requires power. It does require empowered void crystals though, okay. So if I'm gonna make infinite stone, I gotta, well, unless there's another way. I mean, there's always, but oh, that's compressed stone. Um, always using electricity but oh. oh that does use power I lied but a lot less power hmm I could try to start growing stone but that's gonna take forever <laughs> Then it gets one at a time and it grows very slowly and I would have to try to find a way to automate it. Hmm. But we can at least progress a little bit. 
So I'm going to go grab some soybeans from the farm over here. And we can use that for some tofu. And we can use that to make like soy milk or whatever. Or no, we use the soybeans to make soy milk and or tofu. Let's see, so we toss that in. There we go. Grain bait. Which I don't think we have any use for at all. And then silken tofu. So you can make vanilla ice cream. We can make lots of stuff, really. But the thing that I'm after the most, I think, is like soy milk. Which is in here somewhere, isn't it? No? Ah, here you go. You send it back through the thing and it comes out as firm tofu and with soy milk. So then I'll actually remove that and put that in here and toss away the grain bait. So I don't think there's any use for it. And there we go. Now we have soy milk. And now soy milk can be used for making cake. There we go. So we can make cake with soy milk. So then I just need uh, some flour or wheat of any kind, which I can just grow that. That's fine. Um, I need sugar or honey. I don't think, yeah, I can't just make honey. So I'm going to have to grow sugar cane for that. But that's also fine. Get rid of the science and grab the tofu. All right. You know what? I don't really have any other use for this stuff, so I'm just gonna... I'll toss that in and take the signs back. Make some more of the stuff. So let's grab... I think we need to grab some dirt. Ooh, also tofu can make eggs, right? Wasn't, wasn't that a thing? So if I... If, okay, if I'm making cake... Eggs is one of the things that I need. Yeah, there we go. Tofeg. So it's firm tofu, dandelion yellow, and a cutting board, which is a brick, plank, and a stick. Pretty sure we've already determined that I'm out of bricks. At least the kind that I need. At least the kind that I need. Okay, what about clay? Oh, there's a little bit. And the great thing is that this doubles. I shall grab one stick back. And we'll grab a couple of those to make a plank. So it's like that and that. Wait, I think you switch those. And then that. Yeah, cutting board. Very nice. Okay, so with the cutting board, we then get some dandelion yellow, which right here. So we grab that, put that there, cutting board, tofu, two tofu eggs. Amazing. All right, so we have that. We have our milk. The only thing we need now is sugar. Uh, and... The way to get sugar is going to be sugar cane, which I don't actually think I have any seeds for at the moment. Do I? I do not have any seeds for it yet. Okay, so for that... Oh, wait. Was that wheat? I have a little bit of wheat. Let's go ahead and plant some more wheat, because we're going to need that anyway. swap matic was slain by zombie pigment. <gasps> no! My guy, my friend. He was just murdered. 
<laughs> oh no. Okay, I could still use this though. It's just one less entity, I guess. Oh rip. I was like, what's it how did a how did a machine die? That's funny. Okay, now I don't have any bone meal on me, but I guess I can just real quick. Do 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 nice. I don't know how useful industrial hemp is going to be, but I might as well farm some of it. Ooh. Give. We have a mob in there. You're not allowed to be over here. How did you spawn? Where did you spawn in from? You actually could have come from up here. So I'll place that down just in case. So that finished. Seriously though, the grain bait I don't think we need. So I'm just gonna leave that behind. We have plenty of the silk and tofu. Is there anything I can really do with this or is it more useful for me to process it to get well I guess I can process like half. You never know. But yeah, getting the soy stuff is big. Big, big, big. Okay, so where is bone meal? I need bone meal. Here's some bones. Okay, so we get make we can make a little bit of wheat. I still gotta sieve some dirt to make sugar cane. There's our wheat. Now we gotta get sugar cane. Unless there's another way to obtain sugar. Besides honey. Oh, we can use witch hats, actually. Gave. And dried up sugar cane. And compressed sugar. Okay. Oh! Or we can melt down rock candy. That I didn't know about. So we do that. Toss it in. I doubt it'll double it. But it sure would be cool if it did. No, okay, it doesn't. That's fine. I think we only need like two, right? Oh, so close. And now we have sugar. Okay, so now we can make a cake. That actually saved a lot of time. We have a cake. That's big, because now with the cake, we grab some obsidian. And now we can make another cake. Where's our achievement? Come on. I've been needing to do that for a while. Give this to me. Oh, and an overworld cake. So that needs that surrounded by sapling. Okay, so I have to make a second cake. I thought I was done, man. They pulled me back in. Do we have enough? No, I need more wheat. I guess that's fine, right? We got some bone meal left. I didn't realize we needed two cakes. I was like, wait a minute. Well, I hope we have one last piece of wheat. Got one there. I'm about to need these. That's all the weed, isn't it? Okay, it's fine. I got we got we got bone meal. God, I can't wait to get like boots that make me run faster. Cake. And with the cake, we do with the saplings. Overworld cake. Overworld apples. Is that something I can make or? Yeah, it is. Eat the apple and you'll be teleported to the overworld single use only. That's kind of cool though. 
So I don't think we really technically need these, but now because we've made that, we've gotten past the nether requirement. Ooh, what about the end? It's the same deal, but with Eyes of Ender. Place the cake down and fill it, fill it with Eye of Ender. Then right click on the cake and you'll be teleported to the end. The cake has finite, has infinite uses as long as it is fueled. Okay, so you have to keep giving it Eyes of Ender. Which, I mean, as long as I can get a steady supply of Ender Pearls, isn't that big of a deal. Thing is, though, I'm not about to go to the end uh, without any kind of gear on. Now, I'm pretty sure, actually, I missed something. I've been doing a little bit of research on the pack, and I'm pretty sure I missed a means of making leather. So you can make leather out of woven cotton, which you can actually make out of string. And I completely missed that. So check this out. Oh, no. I thought that's how you made armor. Is it not? Oh, you have to make it in a workbench. Okay, how do you make the workbench? Blue dye, blocks of coal, and a crafting table. Okay. We're still in this. We're still in the game here. We're still about to make some big progress. I don't think I can just do that. Oh, no. Uh... Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoa, the survival generator, a minute and 40 seconds. It makes 10,000 RF. Okay. Okay, well. <laughs> Whoops. I don't really have any use for this crap, though. That's the problem. I guess I could, like... Well, there's not really any places I could easily put it where it could fit. I guess I just lost a stack of coal. Because I really... Don't care. Farewell. Okay. I was thinking I could just like test to see if I could make it into. Oh no, I'm actually a lot lower on coal than I thought. Okay, how are we looking in here? Only one more diamond out of all that. Okay, but we did get some coal blocks. Well, some coal, which I can turn into coal blocks. I'm pretty sure I can go to this, combine you. I think I just need the four blocks, don't I? Yeah, and then we just need a little bit of lapis. And what was the last bit? A crafting table. Yeah, okay, easy stuff. All easy stuff. We get our crafting table, we put down our blocks of coal, and we put down this, and we have a workbench. Which is also an achievement, nice. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this... Hmm... Shall I put it here? That's not terrible, I'll stick it there. Uh, <laughs> it actually shows my inventory, that's kind of fun. Alright, so there's this, and we could just put it right on. I really like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have to be up here specifically? Yes, you do. And there we go. So we have a little bit of starting gear. Oh, we can go ahead and move right into copper armor. Oh boy, oh boy. We're about to just start making a ton of armor now. Okay, so let's do... Oh my god, look at all this iron. Jesus. Uh... <laughs> That's all the copper that I've gotten out of all of this. Seriously? Okay. It'll probably be faster if I just cook this up. Because I'm, I'm considering the amount of time it'll take um, to get poured out as a block of, uh, as a block of copper and then cool, and that'll take a little bit. I don't really want to deal with all that. How do you get this? Candleberries. How do you get candleberries? I guess you could buy them. I mean, it's, it's, it's a harder armor, but it doesn't, it doesn't really go anywhere beyond that. Right, 
I was better just run off with this amount of copper, and then I realized I actually need more to be able to make the full set of copper gear. Okay, what comes after copper armor, though? So we get our leather. Then we get copper. And then it's coal, and that requires blocks of coal. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, do I have that much? Because that's a lot of blocks. That's like 24 blocks of coal. Yeah, there's, there's there's no way I have that much. Like, that shouldn't be cool. Oh my god, look at all the iron, though. Holy. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's definitely not going to be enough. I mean, that's enough for, like, one piece. That's literally enough for one piece. Technically, I could do a helmet and legs. And that's it. Or a plate. I do not like that. Okay, so I can do that whole bit. And switch to copper. And that's the same protection level but higher durability. So there's our helmet. There's our boots. And there's our legs. So yeah, it's all the same, well, almost all the same armor, but with a little bit more durability. And then we need to do... I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and do this number. Switch that out. And then we have a coal helmet, which is... It is better armor, okay. Thought it was gonna be worse, actually. Full set abilities, night vision. Whoa, wearing a full set of that gives you night vision? That's actually kind of cool. But we need a lot more coal now. And I don't think charcoal counted. Yeah, it's just different variations of coal. Gotcha. But then after that comes tin. Which then goes to void crystal, which is also made either from black crystal shards or from coal. <clears throat> now, do I have a redstone torch laying around? This is relevant. No, but I could make one. So I just need a little bit of redstone. Cool. And then where's that atomic reconstructor? I'm just going to go ahead and place that down. And then tell it to only fire when I tell it to fire. And I'll put like a button on it or something. Where did I put that thing? There you are. And don't I have a piece of smooth stone? Yes, I do. We'll slap a button there. We're gonna go put that down in the power room, which is what I'm gonna call it for now until I come up with a better name. So we will slap that there. I'll put that there and then pulse or some of deactivation. Oh, I forgot to actually bring <laughs> I forgot to bring a power source. I don't know the difference between pulse and deactivation. We're up to five tall on that cactus. I need to sit in a more comfortable position. I'm kind of like slouched to the side. This is terrible posture. If it starts automatically firing, then we'll know it's wrong. That looks okay so far. That looks okay so far. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I could actually make a whole... Yeah, I can make a whole void block thing with that. Now, there's plenty of things I could make with void crystal. Including the void armor. But that's going to have to come later. This is another thing. is the empowerer. make this and then that's when you can start getting into some better stuff now to my memory I've never actually done much with that so this should be interesting okay but fine we'll we'll, we'll give this a little test 
Actually, can string be sent through an empower? Or through an atomic reconstructor? No? Okay. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure rotten flesh can. It can be turned into... Or I can just make... Um, I can use... I can use iron. We have more than enough to toy around with. So I will actually toss all the iron right here and then go boop. And there we go. We have anori crystals, which could be used for several things. Apparently leaf blowers is one of them. I don't really know what that means. Ring of magnetiz magnetizing. I almost completely butchered that somehow. And actually, that's great, because redstone armor was going to be one of them. Oh my god, and it takes blocks of the stuff? And that's after boron, which is after black quartz, which is after steel, which is after invar, which is after bronze, which is after lapis, which is after iron, which is after lead, which is after nickel, which is after chain, which is after constantin, which is after electrum, which is after silver, which is after gold, which is after aluminum, which is, okay, so it's gonna be a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I need, right, I need to grab a bunch of gravel, toss it in the thing, let it sieve up, because I need coal. I need lots of coal. That. Okay, there's some gravel. Oh, and another one. And some more. Gorsh, that's all I can find. All right, so we'll just grab that and a couple stacks of cobble here and there that I've just randomly tossed aside. And we will slowly build up, whoops, this isn't right. We'll slowly build up our stock of, uh, of coal. There we go, I was about to say, it better start filling all the way in. But yeah, it'll fill up our coal, it'll also, hopefully, fill up our diamond. Every time we get six diamonds in here, I will replace one of the uh, iron stiffen meshes with a diamond stiffen mesh. That's very important. Okay, well now what? Because we're going to have to really wait around for a while for that uh, for all that coal to get processed. I guess I could go play around in the nether, or, or... There's another thing. Uh, here's that. Oh, because I didn't put it in my inventory? It... So I gotta make another set. I mean, I guess that's fine. We have... Plenty of the stuff. Should have some rotten flesh sitting around as well, unless I've just been tossing it aside, which, honestly, I wouldn't be su too surprised if that's what I've been doing. Here's some. There's some. Okay, we don't, we don't have a lot. There we go. So I gotta, I gotta remake. All that gear. That's 13, that's not gonna be quite enough. Sixteen, and then I can use the rotten flesh to turn that into leather. I'm pretty sure that recipe works. We'll find out real quick. So it should be that I can toss that on the ground, press the button. There we go, we get leather. So we've got to remake that. And I could just kind of have that off to the side as like a emergency, I have to make this now kind of thing. So there's that. 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 And that. There we go. Problem is, I'm basically gonna have to do the exact same thing with the copper. Well, then again, if this is gonna be emer an emergency set, 
Whoops. I don't really see a problem with upgrading this to copper as well. I know this probably seems like a big waste of resources, but at the end of the day, it could save me time later. There, so we have an extra set of copper in case we need it. And now the rest will come from the coal as it slowly gets made. And I mean slowly. Because I don't think I have any means of speeding up that process. Also, where's my food? There we are. I don't think we do anyway. Is, is there is there a way to get co uh, coal any faster? Let's go that stuff. Yeah, I, I don't think I can cheat and use charcoal for that. It does not look like it. Okay. Oh, we're up to five diamond up there. Come on, give me more stuff. If I get one more diamond right now, I will replace one of the stiffened meshes. Nope, oh, okay. <laughs> Or the shot. Yeah, check this out. It's like literally three more. You need so much. I'm just going to grab all of the coal that I have and slowly work towards it. Okay, I now have enough to make a pair of legs and then I need four more blocks. So I can do this and put that there and just show in my inventory that it's done. Yes, yeah, so all I need is the plate leg or the plate body now. So there's that, and then we just need a few more blocks of coal, and we can finally progress. Up to four. I do wish this was a little bit faster. Honestly, I might, I might go ahead and finish off this room with iron. It, it might be worth it. Honestly, it might be worth it. And it's not like I don't have the iron to spend, you know? Like, I can just come up here and grab... ...all of that, and look how many chunks this is gonna be. Ta-da! I think it's worth it. Now, to process this a little bit faster, I can't do a whole stack at a time in here. 72 coal-ish. Yeah, that sounds about right. I need to turn this into, like, a super smelter setup. I might do that later. Okay, actually, what I should do, if I want to actually be smart about this, is I should turn some of this into charcoal so I don't have to keep using coal. I was really hoping it was going to double it. <laughs> but yeah, I can use the coal for other things. I can use this. Or I can use charcoal for other uh, for the furnace stuff. I can use uh, coal for this stuff. Did I put away one of my blocks or did I just... No, I just used it. Okay, I need one. No, that doesn't sound right. I swear I had extra. Maybe I did just put it away. Or not. Maybe I did actually just use the whole... Yeah, I think I did just use the whole batch. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> I'll slowly work through this, and while that does its thing, I should probably... Oh, I think... I don't think I have any more quartz left, though, do I? Nope. Nope, I do not have any more quartz left. But I do have all the string mash. Which is great. You hope I'm hungry. Why? Chipotle? Oh, cool. So I can get my thick burrito? Oh my god, there's a thick burrito. Steak burrito with double wrap, steak cheese, nice, okay. 
I'm not gonna uh, eat it on stream right now. I'll probably. Uh, oh, this is... I'm talking to my people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if this is all crinkly and loud. Um, I'm going to show you the burrito. I will not sit here and munch it on stream. I will take a break in a minute and then eat it. Actually, I'll probably take it really soon. Burrito. Yes. It has returned. Actually, it was this side. It's returned. Uh, for context, for anyone who doesn't understand, I posted a picture in Discord the other day. Sorry, I know that's loud. I posted a picture on Discord the other day of me holding up a big burrito to my face. Because it made me happy. So while that does its thing, we'll grab more of this, and I needed flint, which we have plenty of. So we should be able to just do this with that. Yes, so there's flint stiffened, and then we get iron st Why did I do it like that? Iron stiffened meshes. There we go. Now I need a ton of sieves. So we'll grab some sticks, we'll grab planks. I'll do that number. And then we should have the sieve recipe somewhere in here. <laughs> there you are. Is six enough? Nah. Now nah, we'll do a little bit more. That was eight. I'll try. Well, yeah, actually, I mean, fine. I'll, I'll make the rest, but I'm only going to be able to put down eight right now because that's the number of meshes that I have. All right, so we'll clear out this space, this space. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is going to be weird. Look at that. It can really process a lot at once. That's pretty cool. And then we're, and then we have one more. I guess we'll smack it there in the back. And why can't I put that in? Hello? Why can't I? What just happened? All of my meshes just disappeared. Oh, there they are. What in the world? Maybe they weren't actually in my hand and it just looked like they were. But how's that? How's that for some passive generation? <gasps> Check it out. Check it out. Look how many we got now. I can just immediately replace one of these. Which one's it gonna be? Uh, you know what's really annoying? I'm in a Darklands biome, so most of my sp <laughs> spawns are taken by Darklands mobs and it's hard to get normal drops. Really? That is some rough luck, man. I feel kind of bad for that. I didn't even know you could spawn in a, in a Darklands biome. I mean, I guess you could spawn in in any biome type. You could technically spawn in in an ocean, but... That's unfortunate, man. Oh, did we just run out of, uh, of gravel? Yeah. So let's grab a whole row of cobblestone <laughs> and get that processed. Oh, I'm excited about this burrito. You don't even burrito. That was a really bad joke. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It just slowly gets filled up. How cool is this thing, man? To think I never knew this existed. I'm pretty sure Project Ozone Light also had the same, uh, the same thing that you could do, and I never used it because I never, I, I didn't know what it would do, so I never bothered to build it. I feel like a fool, a proper fool. 
And so this will make our pro our th bleh, this will make this process way faster, which means I'll be able to get diamonds faster. The only way I can improve this at this point, beyond increasing the number of sieves and the type of sieves that there are here. Oh, was that a diamond? That was a diamond. Nice. Look how many emeralds we have. It's the same drop chance. Look at this. Okay. Hold on. Where's sieve? Sieve. Flint from diamond. 1.6%. Emerald. 1.6%. Look at that. RNG is not on my side today. <laughs> Oh well. It's working. That's what that that's what matters. We have an automated ore processor. But now, or no, an automated ore obtainer. Now we need an automated ore processor to go along with it. Uh and for that we would honestly need more power. So something like this. Excuse me. Why is this happening? And why is it consuming? What is happening? I'm back, bit. Hi. Why did it just... Why is it eating my blocks? Why is there water here? This water is directly going to get in the way. Are we fighting? We fighting. Ha! You beat up your own shit. I like how you pick a fight and when I win you're like, wow, what a dick. Actually just got a great idea. Check this out. It's gonna be glorious. You don't you don't, you don't even know you're not even ready. I'm gonna make some chests. Alright. And then we're gonna do a thing where we do like this stuff and that stuff and like that. Except that's apparently wrong. So it's gonna be like like that and stuff. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go have like this stuff and stuff. And then we're gonna do this stuff. We're gonna have that. And I almost memorized that thing perfectly. Look at that. And then we're gonna break out this wooden slab here. Yeah, it's gonna be great. We're going to do that, and then we're going to place that totally kind of what I wanted, actually. Yeah, never mind. This is fine. Please don't fall into the void. Thank you. We're going to place this here. And then I'm somehow going to stick in... Do I have another chest? I do. I'm going to make a hopper. <laughs> I love the emotes, man. That makes me happy. I'm really glad you got those. I guess I am just gonna have to put that in there, and then I have to kind of walk around, maybe? And... Oh god, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> how am I gonna do this? Um, Break that out. Put that there. Why did... Once again, why is it deleting my blocks? Oh, I think I know why it's doing it to that one. Uh, it's kind of just breaking. It's trying to place it on the bottom half block, which... So it's like ghosting out, basically. It's then getting confused. Uh, so let me use that. Okay, not even that's working? I can't place blocks. I'm gonna relog. Because that no. I'm just gonna relog. Huh? Oh, thank you, honey. Is there a Quincy? Oh come here? Hi. Oh. Oh, sweet boy. Hey. Oh, he's a good cat. Hey, bud. He is rubbing so hard into my hand, I'm gonna cry. Hi. Hi, buddy. I wish you liked being picked up so I could show you off, but I don't want to make you mad. Oh, look at you. Babe, look at your son. 
Rub. He's being lovey. Oh, that makes me happy. What a good cat. I cannot wait to destroy this burrito. I'm gonna. I gotta make sure this works. Also, my hair is gonna be kind of a mess today. You know what? Screw it. We're just gonna take off the headset. Because my hair is gonna be a mess anyway. It's a great time. I shampooed it today. Wow. <laughs> I shampooed today, and shampoo makes my hair not want to behave. It makes it very silky smooth, but it goes kind of everywhere. Okay, do we have our stuff back? It looks like we do. Okay, we can place blocks again. I wonder what was going on. Maybe it was like a memory issue? Be able to do that, and then I can place in the hopper. Perfect. And then I can break that and cover that up. And there we go, it automatically exports our iron. So now I can do that. Um, at this point, I don't really want to have this gold furnace sitting here. So instead... Uh, what I'll do is I think I'll put down... I'm pretty sure I saw another hopper in here. Yeah, I'll put a hopper... Into the back here. And then, do I have an extra chest? I do. I'll put that chest there. And then I can just do that. Or not. That does not work. Perhaps it is trying to fill the fuel section. Which is not what I want it to do. So instead we'll do the hopper there. And the chest above it there. How's about now? There we go. Okay, that's what it was. Very good. So it's not exactly a super smelter just yet, but I mean, it is an ore doubler. And a very fuel efficient one at that. So, I mean, this is fine. So we're going to get plenty of iron through that. I like not having to use the smeltery for the sake of... Or doubling. Oh, we have another set. Oh, this is amazing. Give. Actually, give this one. We'll do them row by row. Iron stiffened and diamond. There we go. And I think eventually you can even enchant these. So I can put like fortune three on every single one of them. It's going to be great. Um, I'm getting more and more tempted to attach a cobblestone generator, uh, much like this one over here. Um, rather than a fully upgraded one, so that I can just keep it up. So it automatically goes into the block placer, which then automatically breaks the... Oh my. Was this not done? This wasn't done. It just kind of broke. I thought I fixed that before. Apparently not. Uh, that's upsetting. I have a torch. Look at that guy! <laughs> Whee! Okay, so I'll put, like, that there. And that there? Like, I don't really know what to do to fix this. Like, sometimes the hopper works, and sometimes it just doesn't. Oops. Efficiency works on them as well. Ooh, that's really cool. But yeah, I can't... I can't quite figure this one out. Efficiency 5 is a bit more than double the normal speed. That's not bad. I'll let it go through this real quick. Yeah, I wonder why the hopper just sometimes doesn't work. Maybe I should make like another one of these that works in a very small area that is specifically there for... Um... Oh, that was a diamond. Nice. Uh, that's specifically there for gravel, uh, sand, and dust. So it'll be like just like the filter that we have up in there, but it'll be a whitelist instead of a blacklist. That could work. Okay, now that should be done.
This is really cool. I remember last stream someone said that it only works in a 3x3. But this definitely is bigger than a 3x3. And just look at the resources that we're getting in here. That's insane. And they just explode out everywhere. Okay, hopefully we'll get diamonds a little bit faster now. This, hopefully, will stop breaking, but it doesn't look like it's gonna. So, yeah, we're, we're losing a lot of gravel this way. Okay, we're gonna have to fix that. So I think... I really don't want to use another enderpearl, though. Do I want to use the vacuumulator, or is there a way to filter this? I mean, that requires a pulsating crystal. Can't make that yet. The other thing was called a collector, right? Like an item collector, yeah. really trying to avoid using another ender pearl, but if I'm going to be going to the end relatively soon, it should be okay. And it's just one ender pearl. I'm kind of talking myself into it. All right, we'll do it. We'll just have to add another filter. It's not that big of a deal, so I need one of those. Actually, no, I need two of these because I already have a torch. And I needed some obsidian, I think. So do this. Oh, and a hopper. We have one last, yeah, we have one, one last chest. Popper. Okay, so then it's item collector, advanced item collector, and then we need to make a filter. It's this guy, item filter, and it's really easy to make. Get a few more dandelion bits. Oh no, <laughs> I'm out. Uh, that's fine, I can just make some more. Hey, look at that. First try. And second. Oh, look at that. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We definitely got more than what we needed. So that's pretty nice. And then it was a piece of paper. There we go. All right, so then we're going to just grab a bit for gravel, a bit for sand. Actually, I can just do it this way, probably. I got a hammer, so I can do this, this, and this. It doesn't actually consume it. I just am doing this for the sake of ease. And then the last one will be dust. There we go. So we do one for gravel, one for sand, one for dust, and we're going to have this set to a whitelist. Okay. Now I might end up having to use a servo for this at this point, unfortunately. Yeah, this is just, this is just absolutely not working. The hopper is ignoring everything. Uh... Turn that off. And in its place... Actually, can I attach it just directly to this because it is technically an inventory? <gasps> I can! Did that just make my life a little bit easier? I think so. Uh, or, or, okay, actually, 
because that has a pretty limited inventory. I can attach that into that, and I think I actually lost... Yep, I did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, because that's an inventory, I can put that onto there. Oh, man. I really wanted that to work. Because I'm going to have to have that exposed if I do it this way, and I don't really want that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, then I have another idea. I'm gonna remove this. I don't need that there anymore. Uh, I need a chest of any kind. Actually, I'm just, I'll just whip up a quick chest here. I know it's not the most cost efficient, but it's fine. Um, and oh, the hopper got sucked up again. Eh, come back, hopper. I shouldn't have broken you. I'm sorry. I can still do this. So I put the hopper directly in there. No. Nope. Not quite the way I want to do it. Okay. I'll do... It's originally had the hopper there. Okay. How's this? How's this? So we're going to break that out. It's going to get a little ugly right now. But it's going to work. I will make... Oh, I didn't mean to click that. I will make sure that this works. I'm just being dumb about it. Hopper. Um, probably a lot. Put that there. I can attach that into there. Oh my god, there's Oreos now! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Oh, and so does Quincy. Oh goodness. I got Oreos <clears throat> and fish food. Fish food, the ice cream, not the literal fish food. It's spelled with a PH. It's Ben and Jerry's. It's amazing. I'm very excited. You guys give me this. And Cocoa Pebbles? Oh yes. I feel like a proper adult now. Ooh, yeah, no, this will work perfectly. Okay, do that. Put the chest in here, and then I can do the advanced item collector there. And then I have my whitelist filter here. And I can make its radius not too large, but not too small. And now... It shouldn't matter where it goes. It should just get picked up. The moment it's broken, it should immediately go into there. There we go. We fixed it. And that means that we have a much larger backlog for this. So if our system does get a little bit backed up, it's completely fine. All right. I feel a lot better now. Ooh, and we came up here just in time to watch a diamond explode out of it. Oh, we're still one short. Just one short. Come on, do another one. Do the roar! Damn. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. We have plenty of coal, though, that I can go spend. And then I can finish off the armor, and then I can go take a break. That's more than enough. Here we go, coal chest plate. All oh, right, I forgot I had to relog. Where is it? There you are. Coal armor is done. Next is going to be tin armor. That's not too bad. We should have tin laying around, right? There's a little bit. Oh, there's a lot of bit. There we go. Give me that. What comes after 10? Show me, show me. After 10 comes void crystal armor. Which honestly, that... Unless it's... 
blocks of Void Crystal, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, now I need to remember I gotta put this in my inventory as soon as it's crafted so it gets counted as the as the quest being completed. Otherwise, sad times. Also, slight sad times, I lose my night vision effect. Okay, there's 10. 10 is done. And then after 10, and yeah, this doesn't have a special effect of any kind. Oh well. After 10 comes the Void Crystal Armor. So to upgrade that, okay, it is regular. Okay, that is amazing. That's regular Void Crystal. Doesn't have to be blocks of the stuff. It's literally just saying, hey, you got to progress to the point of being able to do this. <gasps> and check that out. That's another filter. Boop. Or stiffened mesh, not filter. Oh, problem. Did that get slurped up? Yes, it did. <laughs> Iron stiffened mesh, diamonds. There you go. Diamond stiffened mesh. This should still be going. Or is it? Oh, this finally broke. Okay, that's fair. So for that, I actually need another little bit of steel in order to fix that. So I can use a little bit of this coal that I've got here. Make an ingot of steel. There we go. I know I said I was going to take a break, and I'm just not. <laughs> and where is that? There we go. I'm going to make a couple of these. There's one. There's two. How many modifiers do I have available on this? Three modifiers available. That should actually get me to the point of it being unbreakable. That's amazing. Okay, so, repair it a little bit, just a halfway, that's fine. Let's go grab our obsidian. And we will combine it with the blank casts to get the reinforcements. And then we put it in here, and there's reinforcement three, reinforcement four, and unbreakable. So now this sledgehammer will never break. At this point, what I could do is just replace the stuff with uh, faster material, and it's fine. But it doesn't really matter. It's unbreakable. It'll last forever. And this is pretty instant. I think it's fine. Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't it great? And this should be back to working? Yeah! That's amazing. Okay, so, we'll grab most of that, uh, yeah, to there, that's fine. We will run down into the basement, quotes, and boom, give it. And we got void crystal, now we can make our void crystal armor. All right, there's that and that, so void crystal helmet. I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't um, also give night vision. There we go, Void Crystal. Pretty bad armor still. <laughs> it's just for the sake of progression. Okay, so there's the tin, there's the void. What comes after the void? It comes aluminum. That's pretty easy. Uh, aluminum pieces, we got a good chunk of them. And I can go toss these into the furnace as well. There you go. Look at all that iron, I love it. We only need like 27 of the aluminum. And what comes after that? That's some shiny armor. Okay, so there's the aluminum chest plate, then there's gold, then there's silver, 
Then there's Electrum, which is the combination of the two. Then there's Constantin, which is alloyed through... Where's the thing? Nickel and copper. Okay, so that's not too bad. And then I think after that is just flat nickel. All right, so let's actually... Let's go ahead and just get some of the stuff prepared. So here's a couple blocks of Electrum. Do I have more in here? I should, yeah. I'm going to just go ahead and start getting this stuff set up. Uh, so that I can go take a quick break. So that'll be the Electrum. I'm going to need Copper. Or rather, I'm going to need Silver. So we'll get the silver processed. I'm going to need gold. Probably plenty of it. Actually, that is... I thought it said I had more than that. Oh, it's this stuff. Okay, I got plenty of that. So there's the copper. There's the silver. We have the electrum processed as well. Right there. Beautiful. In fact, isn't the next step just electrum? Oh, no, the next step is aluminum. That's what I'm working on right now. Yeah, so we're already ready with the uh, with the aluminum. So then we'll prepare the silver. We'll prepare the gold. Actually, can we can we can we swap those? Let's swap those. Okay, so we get the silver. We get the gold. I don't really need these in my inventory then. Uh, silver, gold, electrum. What came after that? Aluminum, gold, silver, electrum. Then comes that, the constantin. And that's made through constantin blend slash grit, which involves nickel and copper. Which I can do this way, so I can grab the nickel. Combine it like that, and I can actually just go ahead and mash it down into the nickel grit, and then I can do the same with copper, though I don't seem to have very much. I know I'm really procrastinating on taking my break, I'm sorry. Okay, here's some copper. And then I can do the same thing. Hammer that down. Combine it with that, we get 32. There we go. And I'll go put that in the hopper as well. But then what comes after the Constantin stuff? So we get our Constantin chest plate. And that gets made into chains. Okay, so that's just more iron. So we got plenty of that. We don't really need to worry about that. Then comes nickel. So we can get some nickel ready and then some lead ready. Nickel, lead, iron. Wow. We're already at the stage of getting iron armor. Cool. So nickel. I don't need all of that, I just need a little bit. Uh, we get nickel, we need... we have iron, it was nickel. Lead. Gosh, why came after lead? Iron, okay. Nickel, lead, iron. Alright, this should be fine. And we got plenty of iron already loaded up in here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna let this run. I'm gonna go take a break. I'm gonna go eat my burrito. It shouldn't be too long. I know I say that from time to time, and then I end up being gone for a while. Uh... Not intentional. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of a safe place I can hide. Because I want to keep this running, and I, I'm pretty certain that I've blocked off everything, but, like, you never know, you know? Eh. How about right down here by the farm? Nothing will be able to come get me. Um... 
Phantoms don't exist in this version. And nothing can walk through there, and I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that can hop over walls. So yeah. I'll be right back. I'm going to take a break. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go eat, and I will be back in the next few minutes. Okay, I'm back. Sorry if that took a little while. That was a very tasty burrito. I stretched a little bit. I stretched my legs. Okay, is this all processed? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're gonna put away the dust. Maybe something else if I can afford to fit that anywhere. Okay, so we need the gold, aluminum, silver, constant, and nickel, and lead. All the armor types. So I think the next bit was... I forget already. <laughs> next bit was aluminum, that's it. Okay, next bit is aluminum. Who got a little hot at the end? There we go. So there's the aluminum. Should get the little bidding for that. Maybe. And then after aluminum comes gold. It is slightly better in armor, but it's worse in durability. Interesting how this all works. Okay, so there's the gold. And then I think after gold comes silver. Mm-hmm. No, not you. Uh, you. There we go. No, I still, I still did that wrong. God damn it. Okay, that, and then that. And there's silver legs. It's something stuck in my teeth, and I hate it. Oh no, next was Electrum, I think, right? Yeah, next was Electrum. Okay, so there's Electrum. I think that's a little bit better durability. Okay, so there's the... Oh, I did Silver. Okay, so Electrum Legs, Electrum Helmet, and Electrum Boots. I think it's the lettuce that's stuck in my teeth. <sighs> Is it not nickel after the Electrum? What came after Electrum? Oh, Constantin, okay. And then we do all that. Okay, so we do legs, boots, no, helmet, boots. Then, okay, now we get the chain mail. Which costs iron. So it was like this. Maybe it's under the workbench. Yep. It is done on the workbench. Alright, so then we do that. 
to make chainmail, and that is a boost in durability and an armor. Did the wrong one. This one. Chain legs. Chain helmet. Chain boots. And then after the chain comes the nickel. And after nickel comes lead, and I think after lead comes iron. There we go. Is that also a jump? It's identical stats. See, that's the one part about this that I don't like. I mean, besides the fact that it's just grindy as hell, but like... I don't like that armor upgrades... Like, you're literally changing the material it's made out of. And there is zero benefit with a lot of these pieces. You know what I mean? Look, look at that. Five durability. Yeah, in this, in this case, it actually drops the durability, so why would it go in that order? Why would it go from nickel to lead if the armor value is going to be the same, or in this case, worse, and the durability is going to be lower? That's not an upgrade. You're making it worse. Or, yeah, now it comes, now it comes iron. Now five to six with better durability again. So this one, this one is an actual upgrade. But I think overall, a lot of the stuff hasn't been. Do I have the inventory space for that? No, I don't, okay. I want to do this in order. Okay, so we're gonna do that and gold. I mean, look how much of the armor that we've already made, though. Like, we're definitely making progress, and we are killing some of these quests. So we're really farming up the currency, the rack stuff. We're racking up that rack. Okay, then it goes lapis, then bronze, and invar. I don't actually have bronze at the moment, uh, but I definitely. Oh, I don't want to throw my pick away. I definitely have. Oh, wait a minute. That could catch on fire. Toss over that way. <laughs> uh, I definitely have Lapis. It was like that? Yeah. But that's going to be probably a drop in everything. Or, yeah, it's a drop in durability. And there's Lapis Armor. Oh, is it because it's in my hotbar? <laughs> wow. Okay, so it doesn't count if it goes in your hotbar first. Interesting. Uh, this one has water breathing for its set effect. That's kind of cool, I guess. And then after that, it's going to come bronze. So I'm going to go ahead and put all that on. Now we have water breathing one. Let's see, do we have bronze? Yeah, we got two blocks of it. It's not quite enough. We need three. Do I have any bronze ingots laying around? I have one. That's not enough. Actually, it is enough because we're, we have one block and eight ingots in there. So if I toss in one bronze ingot, let that melt down, then I'll have enough for one block and I could just pour it out. Also, one second, I'm going to hide my webcam for a moment so I can get this out of my teeth. Okay, that's so much better. Sorry, that was really annoying me. <laughs> and now I have a splitter. 
There we go. Now we can make bronze armor. Now, I doubt this has any kind of beneficial effects. Yeah, it doesn't have any beneficial effects, though it does have toughness. So it has armor toughness. That's pretty nice. But it's a lot weaker in armor value. Which then, once again, begs the question, why did I make it? And then Invar? Yeah, Invar's after that. Okay, so Invar, thankfully, isn't too bad to make. Let me put the lapis back. Because Invar is just nickel and iron, but it's a pretty good ratio. We already have some. Yeah, we don't have much, actually. We have a little bit of iron in here, so I will toss in some more. That'll turn into 32. That's aluminum. And that might get me enough, we'll see. It'll just take a moment. What all kinds of armor can we make beyond this, though? So there's Invar, Steel, Black Quartz, Boron. That's where we're really going to get stuck. I don't think I have any kind of access to Boron. Oh, you're done. Yo, look at that, though. Another Diamond Mesh. I think... That's amazing. We're actually making some good progress with this, and this is pretty ridiculous, actually. Can I do it directly from in here, or do I have to have it in my... Okay, it looks like I actually have to have it in my inventory. Whoa. I don't know what got thrown away. All right, how are we looking? Only two blocks. Oh, okay, so we were, we were short on the nickel. <laughs> There we go. This will get way more than I actually need. <laughs> okay, and after nickel came steel, so I'm still probably going to need some more iron in there. And then I'm also going to need to toss some coal in as well. So I'm going to need like three blocks of that, so that's probably going to be a good bit of coal. I think it does take a decent amount of coal to be able to make steel. And again, I can always toss it. You know what? Yeah. I could always toss a stack of coal or a stack of steel in with some coal coke. Or I guess I could do like half a stack. I have coal coke around here somewhere. So I remember making a bunch of it. I just don't remember what I did with it after I made it. Did I put it over here? How about here? Okay, seriously, what did I do with it? Did I leave it in the blast furnace? And I'm just wasting my time looking for it. Also, Invar... Oh god, that's so much. We're, we're going to need it at some point. It's going to be important. And yeah, I did. Okay, so we'll just toss in a stack or have a stack of that. Now that'll take a while to process, so I'm not going to just jump on it. We are still going to want to make some steel. Oh god, the Invar takes so long to cool. Guess it's fine because that means that I have more time to process all this steel. Remember, I need three blocks of the stuff to make a full set of armor. We're up to two blocks. It's probably not gonna 
get me quite enough. It'll it'll be close, but not quite there. God, the Envar takes so long to cool. Yeah, not quite. Okay. I'm thinking, what, like another half stack of coal? Yeah, easily. In fact, that was probably more than I needed. Either way, we're good. We got what we needed. So we're doing just fine. I just wish the Invar didn't take so long. Oh well, what I really do need to do though is I need to make some more porcelain. I need to make a new drain over here and another casting table and another basin and have them separated. So I can do casting over here probably and then metal pouring on this side. So that way it can, uh, it'll increase the amount of, or decrease the amount of time it takes for all of that to happen. Also, how much is that? 10,001, I guess that's not too bad. Although it's blocks of, oh, but still, all things considered, by the time we get to that point, that's not really that bad. Okay, and what came after steel? I'm just gonna go ahead, since that's taking so long, I'm just gonna go ahead and figure it out. Okay, so Invar to steel to black quartz. Now, that's gonna be the problem because I don't have a lot of quartz right now. I got the coal to make it, but I don't have a lot of quartz right now. Uh, what about you? Uh, you're getting up there with the lapis. Actually, wait a minute. I probably have plenty of lapis now. Yeah, I do. Look at that. Okay, we're fine. So I could, uh, blah, 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 blah. I could upgrade this to have uh, Fortune 3 on it. It's almost there. I need like 40 something. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and start pouring out the steel. Which will probably be a similar amount of time, if I had to guess. Alright, so we're gonna do... where's our... Oh wait, we didn't split it. Actually, it's faster than the Envar. Interesting. There we go. Envar ingots. We're getting so many quests done. It's amazing. All right, Invar, and then we're going to do that, 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 and that. So we get the plate legs, toss that aside, get the helmet, toss that aside, get the boots, toss that aside. We good? Yeah. Now that's actually some decent armor. That's not terrible. I should really clean my inventory just a little bit, though. At least a little bit. Probably a good bit. Get some of this mess out. And like, look how much of the stuff we have. Like, we are sitting on... Quite a few stacks now. Of rack. And I'm not really sure what all I can do with it that would be beneficial to me. Oh, there you go. Get that last bit done. Alright, what was I doing? Besides... Oh, right. Lapis. I just thought of something, actually. Because we're in a desert, when we get to the point of getting into... Wait, flight? What are we talking about? Uh, when we get to the point of getting into uh, the thermal evaporation towers or mechanism, being in a desert biome is going to automatically give us a little extra heat. So that's pretty awesome. So check that out. Oh, flight. Oh, right, right, right. The rack provides the ability to make flight. Uh, 768 rack gives you flight. Okay, I will... Definitely look into that then. I screw a toss that in fine. All right, did I? There we go. Blocks of steel. And take off our Invar armor. Steel chest piece. Okay, see this. This is where things definitely start to look like an upgrade. I think. Uh, actually, okay, slightly. The durability is a little bit better. But that's about it. 
Very good. So there's the Invar. There's the Steel. Now we need Black Quartz. Now, what's another way of getting Quartz? Can I sieve for it? I can. Oh, but it's got to be Soul Sand. That sucks, actually. Okay, I don't really have a whole lot of that, I don't think. There we go. We got steel armor now. Look at that. Feeling like a champion. Okay, but do we have enough rack for that? You said it was like 700 and something? Yeah, I got like 250 something. Or more like 270. Roughly. It's up in the rewards area. One of these is... A flight totem? There it is. Flight totem. Yep, I don't have that much. Uh, make a pick and put lapis on it to mine quartz for the nether. You mean this pick? That has fortune three on it? Ta-da! I'm way ahead of you, buddy. Uh, though I am about to... take my cobalt... and swap out a couple of pieces. Actually, I will also grab the ardite for that as well. So we'll do the cobalt first, and then I will pour that into a pick cast. How's this coming along? Yeah, see, that's really slow. Let's grab another... S not stack, another, like, line of cobbles. There we go. And we'll toss that into the block breaker. Now that we have that hammer at 100% uh, dur or un an unbreakable durability, then I think we're pretty set. I should probably seal off that space, just in case. Because right now there's a slim chance. Oh, that went up into the. That went up into the thing. You come here. No, stop it. <laughs> Go away. There. Now it won't fall through. Yeah, we're just two away from another bit of that. Also, we have so much flint. I don't know what we're going to do with all this flint. Turn it into gunpowder. Power one. Uh, imbuing station. Okay, I guess there's a few things, but like for the most part, it just kind of exists. I don't really need any of it. Sag mill, actually. That would... When I get to the sag mill, then I'll have, I'll have something to start off with. That's, that's fine. That's not something I really considered. This is getting too full. So I'm definitely gonna have to start pulling this out. <clears throat> also should look into the compacting drawers. I think the compacting drawers will actually make this smaller. It will automatically put it into its trunk form. And, oh, it needs infinity dust block. That's by, yeah, lighting cobble, or lighting a, bedrock on fire. But I'm pretty sure it has to be done in the overworld. There's no way to make bedrock. And there's only one piece of bedrock on this entire area, and it's like in the center over there. Oh, that was a diamond. We're up to five now. Nice. Maybe the deep dark. Well, the thing is, is I'm the last time I played with that. Um, and maybe the mod pack changes the config, which would be fantastic. But the last time I played with grains of infinity, the only way you could get them is by lighting bedrock on fire in the overworld. If you did it anywhere else, it didn't work. Now, if that's changed now, that's fantastic. But I don't know if it is. Oh, God, it's four blocks now. When did that happen? Basically. Go Google it. I'd appreciate it. While you Google, I'm going to get a book. Where's that book? It's the Materials in You book. 
and it's somewhere in my cluttered mess of a so-called storage system. There you are. Tool materials. I'm looking for Ardite. So Ardite has a great uh, extra piece, but as a handle modifier, it's not the best. Cobalt has a worse one. I'm pretty sure I've actually used Ardite as a handle modifier before as well, because that is, I mean, 1.4 is pretty good. If I can find anything else that's a little better that I can actually access. Guardian? How do you get that? Ender Dragon? How do you get these pieces? Unless it's like made out of like an end uh, or a dragon egg. Yeah, some of this just looks terrible. Pink slime is insane, but I can't get that. Even the diamond isn't that great. Wait, what was aluminum brass? 1.2? That's not bad. Alamite is actually pretty good, and it has plus 80, so I might I might leave the alamite uh, handle. I'll go ahead and toss in the Ardite. Ooh, how much is this going to cost me, though? Okay, it's just one, so if it does... Or when it does consume that little bit of copper to make a little bit of manulum. It should still be okay. Speaking of manulum, though. Yeah, terrible handle modifier. Not worth doing. Manulum is honestly pretty bad. Until you have an unbreakable tool already. Then it's, then it's good. No, even then, it doesn't matter at that point. Well, unless it's a sword. If you're using manulum for a weapon, then that's fine. Now, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's an upgrade in durability. I am still going to need to grab a little bit of alamite to repair this thing first. So I guess I need to toss in a little bit of obsidian. Yeah, so there's that. And ardite. There we go. Now, with the way it is now, if I put this on, yeah, it's a... Pretty substantial upgrade in durability. Now, I do lose the well-established perk, which gives me XP, but I gain this, so it absorbs it for durability. I don't really... I've never actually seen that happen, but I'll take it. Now then, where's a bucket? There we go. that in there. Oh, that made dark steel. Well, that's not what I was trying to do. How did I, wait, how did I even make that? Oh, because there's liquefacted coal in there. Oh. Well, is dark steel any good for a material base? Eh, I guess. Tool mines faster the higher its mining level is above the required one. I mean, I guess that's good for like if you have a big hammer or something. Prevents Enderman from teleporting for a short time. That's good for a weapon. That's definitely good for a weapon, but I have no need for it in that regard. We still have obsidian in here, or did that just use all of it? That used all of it. Okay, you know what? It's going to take a minute, but... Just do that. I know I need al uh, aluminum in there as well. We'll throw that in there. Hopefully it doesn't try to alloy with anything. And it doesn't. Awesome. And that obsidian is taking too long. I can do this way faster. It made more dark steel. Seriously? It's not even consuming the coal, though. 
Like, shouldn't that be step one? Eat the coal? Because it said that liquefacted coal was part of its alloy recipe. So it should be using that. Liquefacted coal, more dark steel. Yeah, it's it's literally not using the liquefacted coal. Okay, there's some uh, alamite. That was getting wild. All right, well, it's working now. I can do some repairs. Now, should I turn it into an unbreakable thing? Like power level, it's uh, XP and whatnot. There we go. And then give it the cobalt head. And that is a durability increase, okay. There we go. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. Google doesn't say, oh well. Is what it is. How many, we have four modifiers available. I could make this almost unbreakable. Honestly, why not? Because I can make it super fast. It's already at a mining speed of 12. Yeah, if I can make this almost unbreakable. Oh, whoa, you actually managed to get out. How? How did he get through? That shouldn't be a thing. Oh, maybe it's because he was on the other side and because he can go down, it counts as holding shift. Maybe? That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know how that dimension mod works, so I can't really give any educated guesses, but my assumption as of right now is that it chunk loads the surrounding area so mobs are able to spawn in there. And then there was a that guy got in there and he tried to go up and then go back down and him going down counts as him crouching so it accepted him as a teleport thing. I guess? I don't know. Ooh, or I could... I have a lot of modifiers available on the sword. I could just make the sword unbreakable. And give it a manulin uh, blade. I don't have any more cobalt to do that with, though. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, my God. Yes, I absolutely do. So, yeah, I can give it a manulin blade. Which normally is very bad, but in this case, because the sword's going to be unbreakable, it doesn't matter. Nice. I'm just going to wait. Actually, how much does this cost? Only two ingots. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Uh, what else could I use for a material base for the rest of it, for like the guard and everything? Let's see, for manulum. I mean, I could do that, but that doesn't really ma make a difference. Increases damage to targets at full health. Because right now it's going to have Insatiable. Um, having that would be really good. The cold-blooded effect. Is there another high damaging thing? I could give it something made of silver. So that way it has the holy effect. But then again, keeping Electrum on there so that it has that extra burst. I might do that. I think it's a, an Electrum handle right now. I'll have to check in a sec. 
I really can't tell with the way it's flashing at the moment. Like, I need to hit something. I don't suppose this counts. Oh, it does. Okay, so it's an Electrum Wide Guard. Which means I can do a tool rod made of silver. I don't think I have silver in here, though. I definitely do not have silver in there, so I'll do that. Silver, I'm pretty sure, gets processed pretty fast. Eh, kinda. I love how fast this thing is with the heat sand. Like, that is crazy good. And the fact that it's something you can access so early. And silver. That way it's going to be extra strong against anything undead. Okay, so we're going to replace that. So it does give it more durability anyway with way higher attack damage. Good stuff. So it has cold-blooded. Oh wait, it already has cold-blooded. Right. So I lose the cold-blooded by adding that. But I wanted to have cold-blooded. So then it's a choice, do I want the shocking? Or do I want holy? I'm going to stick with this for now, and we'll go ahead and add reinforced onto it. So it's just an unbreakable sword. It does a, a decent amount of damage. Uh, as I level this up now, um, what I can do... Oh, wrong way. Uh, what I can do is slowly add other things. So instead of having holy, I can then make uh, that graveyard soil stuff. I can attach that so it still does more damage to undead. Uh, I can add quartz to it later. Hmm, one thing I haven't tested. Can you upgrade armor that's been damaged? Because if you can't, that's a big problem. So I'm going to remove all this armor, I'm going to put on these copper boots, and I'm going to intentionally damage them. That didn't cause any damage. Okay, that... Uh, you can? Well, cool. So as long as it's still there as a base, then you can do it. That's awesome. Alright, so then I do not feel afraid to wear this armor into the nether, which I'm going to go to now. We have a little bit of food. Uh, we got some stuff. Well, this I can probably just toss away. I don't really care about that. Um... I can go level this up a little bit in the nether. And more importantly, I can go look for... Um, oh, I should have brought apples. I should have brought the overworld apples. But then again, I don't know if they would bring me back to my base. Or if they would just take me to anywhere in the overworld. So we have a few too many... Death waypoints? I will actually add one for the portal here, though. Turn off the F7 markers. Oh, I should have attached some lapis onto this. Oh dear, okay. Okay, that's not bad. Those critical hits are no joke. Woo! Yeah, I can't really do anything about the blaze right now, but I can kill Withers. And I'm already up to four skull fragments. That's pretty cool. We're already pretty close to being able to summon the boss. Yeah, this sword is going to be really useful. Also very close to a Wither skeleton, apparently, somewhere. Though I don't see it. Is 
this go lower? No, but apparently I'm surrounded by the things. Are they over here? Nope. Where are they? Okay, I see one over there. But it sounds like there's some, like, on me here. I don't see them. Say, I know they're going to shoot soon. I just got to sit back and wait for it. Okay, let's grab a little bit more. Actually, maybe just the one. Hey, bud. I want to take a little walk around my or across my bridge here. There's a good boy. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, and that is five of those, three wither bones already. So guardian helmet. Okay, so guardian scales. Use craft the guardian weapons. Drop by the elder guardian and by guardians. Okay, so I have to find a way to start farming them so that I can upgrade to pretty decent armor from the looks of it. Okay, what's over here? Ooh, hi. Oh. Oh god, I'm starting to lag really hard all of a sudden. Yeah, I think I definitely need to add uh, Lapis onto this. Lost Tablet. Dimlet Parcel? I'll definitely take a Dimlet Parcel. An adventure awaits you. From what? Tablet must have been possessed a great- must have possessed a great power a long time ago. Needs time for its magic to awaken. So I can't even do anything with it. <clears throat> Voice, please. And you can make heart canisters? Not quite yet. So I have to be able to make relic apple. Well, not the relic apples. I have to be able to make canisters? Yeah, I need anti-bone. And I don't know how to get an anti-bone. It doesn't give me a recipe for it. Ooh, friend or pearl. I'm going to drop the Inferium Essence for now. Okay, this is not quite where I want to be in order to get out of here. I don't really think I need all this sulfur anymore. Eventually I'll probably make a nether-based mob farm and that'll get me all the sulfur I need. More gold. I don't really want to grab all of these things. It's just going to start clogging up my inventory. So I will leave them behind for now. Okay, where was my exit? I made a way out of here at one point. Yeah, if I can figure out how to make anti-bones then I'll go ahead and start making those canisters. Get myself more health. Where did I make my way out of here? This definitely doesn't look like it. Oh! Oh, that was really close. Okay, no skull. I am now taking durability damage on my armor, so I can give that a little test whenever we get back, whenever it's time to upgrade it. Ooh. Really should have made a shield as well.
I love when the, ske uh, the weather skeletons that just have no idea. They're just standing there. Okay, look at that, though. So we can just make skulls. We've farmed up enough of these guys. Whoa, hi. Stop it. I hear that guy shooting, but I don't know where he's shooting from. Okay, so there's not actually a platform up there. I don't know if he dropped anything that I can grab, or... I already picked it all up. I guess I picked it all up. Slash, my inventory is full. Uh, I'll drop that. Aha! I was right. And we got enough uh, wither ribs to be able to make another skull, as long as we got a regular skeleton skull. So yeah, we are pretty set on skulls at the moment. Okay, there's this guy. Well, my inventory is kind of filled right now. Uh... I guess what I can do is just, like, slap this down and fill it up with a bunch of stuff, and then I can just kind of pick and choose what I want. The last tablet broke into dust? Why? Oh, is it because I tried to put it away? That's kind of dumb, but all right. There, so I'll just fill that up a little bit. Now, where did I... How did I get out of here before? to go this way and out yeah some more wither skeletons I might as well kill I hate how close I get to one hitting him without one hitting Ugh. oh well I could probably one-hit this pigman because this thing's fully charged, though, right? Yes. And for those of you who do not know, you can get away with killing a pigman without the others aggroing you if you kill them in one hit. If you do not kill them in one hit, then they'll get all mad. Was this the way I was using to get out? I don't think it was. I mean, it works. But I'm pretty sure I was going a different direction. Oh, where those skeletons can spawn outside of the fortress. We'll check that out. Kind of cool. All right, so I need quartz while I'm here. And I know I just passed some. And some cobalt. And that's only five quarts. Okay, that was pretty pitiful. Look at all the wither skeletons. This is pretty cool, though, because that means that I actually have the possibility of farming skulls a lot easier. In fact, I just... Oh, I thought I just got one. Guess not. Okay, yeah, I really need to add fortune onto this sword. I think as soon as we get back, I'm gonna grab as much of the lapis as I can from my little production area, and I'm gonna upgrade the sword so that it has full looting as fast as I can. Hey, bud. Okay, so there's these spore creepers. I don't really know much about them. I watched one attack a zombie pigman the other day. Though I still don't really understand the point of them. Whoops. That was an accident. Uh, it is actually infinite storage for one block. Wait, what? If you want to replace the storage cobblestone 
use Yava barrels and make an infinite an infinity upgrade. Oh. Infinity upgrade. Uh, how? Ah, infinite capacity. Ah, uh, requires another star. Got the necrotic bone. I still don't know how to... Oh, wait. But the anti... How do you make the anti bone? Or can you make it? Is it even makeable? Other recipes require uh, just emeralds or diamonds? Oh, wait. Oh, that's to make 64 of them. Oh, that's actually pretty cheap then. Nice, so we do have plenty of emeralds now. Very cool. Yeah, that's definitely sounding like a possibility. I'm gonna find more nether quartz while I'm out here. Pile of heat sand. I really don't think I need any of that anymore. Yeah, there's those ember creatures. Oh, that's basalt. I really thought that was like blocks of coal for a second. I got a little excited. Actually, I don't really think I need that anyway. Oh, ow. Fiery netherrack. Kind of cool stuff. That looks like nether diamond. Pretty sure it is, actually. Yeah, it is. You only get the one. Nice. Okay, we're getting a decent amount of nether quartz. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I need all of this stuff. Wither ash, I don't think I do. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't need that. Okay. That can go. I'm sorry. What am I looking at over there? Frostburn ice. Are you? Oh, ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I, there's so much damage. What is this creature? Okay. So this is the part of hell that froze over then is what I'm gathering. Oh, you can break it though. Does it have any uses? You can chisel it. Uh, hydraulic press can turn it into packed ice. So I guess this counts as regular ice then. Yeah, this just counts as regular ice. I can combine it into dense ice. Which... Okay. Oh god, look at him just watching me. Oh, he coming. What about withered dust? Is that useful? Eh, well, maybe. It might be worth hanging on to. I 
Can't really think of anything else I need while we're here. Let's see, does this have anything useful inside of it? If not, I'm leaving it. Eh, not particularly. I'm going to save this last apple until I actually need it. Oh, there's another white in here. At least they're easy to kill. I don't know if they do a lot of damage. But they are easy to kill. Okay, we'll see if we can find a little bit more nether quartz on the way out. But honestly, what we have right here should be plenty for a little bit. Oh, high spore creeper, goodbye. An ember. Bunch of magma cubes. Oh, he dropped a magma core, whatever that's called. It's pretty cool. I don't think we need to worry about these salamanders. I'm just going to leave them be. It does label them as hostile on the mini-map, but I don't actually know for sure. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, luckily it is time to eat this last apple. Okay, how did I get there? Or how did I get here, I guess? From around here, maybe? And down? This feels right. Also, I apologize if any of the background noise gets picked up. Uh, there's some yard work being done. I do have room for a little bit more of the quartz, and there is some right there. I kind of do want to go for it. If I can reach it. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. I didn't know he was there. Okay, that's definitely going to get picked up. I'll be right back. Okay, that should be good. And also we're back. We made it over here. I like how when he, when he gets hit, he just kind of like looks at you like, did you just... And you smack him again to say, yes, I did just. And then you all have a good laugh and become best friends. Just kidding. Is it this direction? Oh, I just don't want to be near those. Around here somewhere. Ye old stone staircase. There you are. Right, now I have this filled chest of goodies. I'll just take everything that I can first. We've determined that wither ash is less important. I will leave that behind. This I can just eat right now. The friender pearl, absolutely. And I think I'll just leave the rest for now. I think that'll be fine. I got what I came for. Which is just the quartz. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Successful another trip. We managed to get in and out without getting killed. Amazing. <sighs> no, 
All right. So with that done and successful, uh, let's see about kicking up some of this stuff. So I don't know if this will double. If it does, I'll be very happy, though. Ooh. Oh, no, it didn't, actually. No, it didn't. Now, I know if I put this through a furnace, it'll give me one. But with this furnace, it might give me two. Oh, wait, no, it did double. Look at that. I forgot about the hopper underneath. Ooh. See, it could give me two, but because I have fortune three, essentially, on this... One, two, three, four. We got nine, so it's one more than if it would be if it was doubled. Look at that. Ain't that a barrel of hoots? I don't know what that means. And we got all the redstone that we need. Okay, that's not bad. That's pretty worthwhile. Actually, that also means I can use the fortune on these. We have a lot of these bones, these wither bones. We probably, well, we don't have enough for like the full set, I don't think, but I mean, we're coming along pretty well. Where am I storing the rest of it? Was that it? That shouldn't have been it. Then again, I hadn't really killed too many of those guys, so that very well could have been. All right, that's fine. Uh, how do you connect the dynamo to a battery or energy cell? Oh, so what I found out is in order to get it to work, you have to put down the kinetic dynamo first and then attach this after. So, like, you can have these two placed, but this third one, whichever one attaches to, attach, attaches to the dynamo, if it's already there, break it and then reattach it to the dynamo, and that will make it work. See, we get molten core, some obsidian again, and impossibly hard wheat sticks. What? You can't even make those. Make soggy noodles. That's so, so weird. And then a zombie heart. So from what I was told in Discord, you could do that and that. Uh, maybe not. Oh, it has to be like a regular chest. Interesting. So we could do netherrack. We could actually start sieving netherrack so we can crush it. And then we can send the crushed stuff through the diamond sieve and that can get us tungsten and titanium. A decent, oh, it's a 100% chance for gold. I didn't know that. Oh, that's really cool. We have more netherrack laying around. Because now that we have our auto smasher. Honestly, this would be pretty fine. Yeah, there we go. We can get this started. That'll be a decent amount of gold. It won't give us any diamonds or anything like that, but... Oh my god. She's all filled up. So with this, I can do one, two, three, that one, ah, oh, there we go. There we go, diamond stiffen meshes. Dink, dink, dink. Amazing. All right, so this, this right here is absolutely excessive. So let's fix that. So shift K. 
Well, I thought it was Shift-K. Oh, maybe I need, like, an extra inventory space. Shift-K, yeah. There we go. That's all the iron. Yeah, I can't do it with an inventory open, unfortunately, but that's okay, I guess. And then we'll do... Silver seems to be a pretty big one. Tin is a pretty big one. Now that's processed. Nickel is a good one. That's processed. Gold. That's processed. So we can just start tossing this stuff into our smelter. Or our gold furnace, which I should probably upgrade pretty soon. We actually had some more iron left in there. All right, there we go. A good start. And we should end up with a lot more gold when this stuff is done being processed. So we're going to toss in the nether rack. And away it goes. Or not. Oh, I bet it's getting sucked into this one. Yeah, it is. Okay. So this one, it needs to have this added to its blacklist. There we go. And then down here, it needs that added to its whitelist. There we go. Now it should start working. Forgot all about those. Nice. All right, so I can use some of the charcoal that I have stored up. Honestly, I could just use one gold furnace, the, the one that I don't have upgrades in, and just passively let that make charcoal for me. So I should have a little bit of charcoal sitting around in somewhere. Where did I put it? Oh, it's actually in here, duh. So I can grab that amount, toss that in there. And then the rest of this... There we go. And that'll just kind of do its thing. And it doubles all of its ore, and so this will get super filled up, and I love it. Oh, food. Food is an important thing, though. Am I out of cooked apples? I appear to be out of cooked apples. And I can make some, but I'm using my furnaces for other things right now. Oh, well. I think, it, doesn't it just take four diamonds to make a diamond, sh uh, a diamond furnace? Yeah, it just takes four diamonds, and I'm pretty sure I have that. I have exactly that, yes. And then I think after that comes the Emerald Furnace, which, yeah. Okay, this is once again a problem. Did it not actually update the whitelist? No, it didn't. Are you serious? There it goes. You guys saw me update the whitelist, right? Like, it, it, it was there. Oh yeah, and that gives us Ardite and Cobalt. Which I guess that's kind of cool. Yeah, we'll definitely upgrade that to a diamond, then, a, then an emerald. What happens after an emerald furnace? Emerald furnace into an endist furnace, which is made out of ender pearls, and then into a zenith furnace, which requires another star, so we're not going to be there yet. But still, kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to take that out. And I'm actually going to quickly empty this. 
I'll let it finish what it's doing. I know we have glass, because it was doubling my glass earlier. Just where did I put it? Okay, here is not quite enough. There we go. All right, that's better. Soon as this is done. There we go. And I'm sure I'll probably need to remove those as well. Okay, so gold furnace. So we'll turn you, four glass, into a diamond furnace, which is apparently see through. And go ahead and get the achievement for that, okay. And then the same thing. But an emerald furnace. Wow, you can't actually see right through it. That just feels kind of wrong. I don't know why, but I, I don't quite like it. Alright, we go ahead and put those back in. There we go. Oh, right. That might help. Ooh, look at that speed. I like that. That's a lot nicer. <laughs> okay, but it was an endist furnace after that. Yeah, and I can't quite just make these up until I get a Philosopher's Stone anyway, which that's not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> Air compressor. And the other way furnace. Yep. It's gonna be a minute. But I mean, do I have do I have those ender pearls? I doubt it. I have one there. Yeah, that's that's basically all I have. Okay, that's that's fine. It's pretty fast. That is really fun. I guess I can, like, sneak in a few apples here. Just made a pulverizer to automate making gravel without multiple blocks? Okay. But you have to use power for your setup. Mine's free. <laughs> Oh, it's already gone through all of that. Look at that. Now, it said there was uh, there was still netherrack down here. See, you can see it in there. Crush netherrack tw 25. But it's not sending it through. It's not using it. Not really sure why. But whatever. Oh, yeah, you get prosperity shards from that, too. Oh, here we go. That also got sent through. I forgot about that. <gasps> Krillin! Somebody touch my spaghetti! How's it going, man? How are you doing today? I'm sure you were grinding out some destiny. How was destiny? I'm tired, but okay. How how am I? I'm okay. I'm getting my hydration on. I hope you are too, man. You better be staying hydrated, or we're gonna fight. I think this is stopping at five tall, so I'm just gonna break that down. It's kind of cool, though. I love Destiny 2, woo! Politely run me over, Jesus. Oh, uh, you feeling a little burnt out, man? You gotta take it easy sometimes. Don't forget to take breaks. Breaks are important. Oh, 
what do I need to do now? Oh, the stars are doing their trippy thing. Uh, new expansion in two weeks. No, no breaks. Only grind. Oh dear. No, I'm probably gonna take a break tomorrow. That's good. That's good. You gotta take it easy sometimes. Even if it's something important, you gotta take it easy. It's gonna start doing something, and I don't remember what that something was gonna be. Make a few wither skulls. Did I not have- oh, there's another drop of evil here, and some of those over there. Some of my stuff is still a little misplaced. I went and got that quartz for a reason, but I'm trying to remember what it was for. Oh yeah, I think I needed black quartz uh, in order to make the next armor set. Right? I'm pretty sure that was the case. Uh, so where did I put all that quartz at? There we go. That should be fine, and then it was, or actually, probably even less than that. I can get away with this. And I need a little bit of coal. Not charcoal, but actually, maybe charcoal. Would charcoal count? It does count, look at that. So that turns it into smoky quartz. Which I then have to cook. And unfortunately, it doesn't double it. But I can still do that. Now, I'm still curious. Can I make ender pearls at all? Ender lilies, bonsai tree. Whoa, wait a minute. If I get chorus fruit, there's a chance of it yielding a pearl? That's kind of cool. Give me that. All right. So now I should be able to upgrade this to the next stage, if I'm remembering the stages correctly. Yes. Okay, so there's black quartz. And I love that it automatically repairs it in the process. Achievement, there we go. All right, what comes after this? Boron, how do we get boron? Because I haven't seen that ore anywhere. So it looks like this is kind of gonna be where I get stuck at. Boron ore can be obtained from a laser But that laser requires ferroboron, so there has to be another way. Is there a mining dimension? Oh, mining. Oh, I saw it. I saw the multi-tool. Mining multi-tool. It requires a celestial altar to make that? Okay. Graseline and bioluminescence, a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I can't do that. Okay, so I'm stuck with black quartz armor for now. I guess it's okay. Um, well, how do I get to Boron? Ooh, I'll bet you the Twilight Forest has that answer. So I'm probably at that point then. So there's those, and then Twilight Forest is going to need to be a thing. I'm pretty certain. The Black Quartz body...
Yeah, Twilight Forest requires a Glimmer Crystal, which I have to make with that. Okay, so... Oh, I bet you this is the, the catalyst for the, for the portal now. Okay, so it requires a Dawnstar Aspectus. I have all these things. I have the exchange tablets and all that. I just, I don't know how to use them. In fact, they're right here. Um, and here. So I'm going to grab some of this stuff, but I don't genuinely know how to use it at all. Let's see. I can, I guess, give it a shot. I don't suppose... Uh, I left it behind. I don't suppose the tablet tells me anything about it. For the codex. Ember transfer. Okay, so I need emitters and all that stuff, which I have not made. I'm pretty certain if I go back here to Gamma, yeah, I need to make Ember emitters and receivers. So that needs tungsten, an electroline alloy. I don't know if I have any tungsten right now. Oh wait, I should be getting some right now because of all the netherrack that I've been processing. Right? A ton of lead, iridium, tungsten, there we go. And some titanium, I guess. Okay, so we got a little bit of both. I don't know if I need the tungsten, or not the tungsten, the titanium, but... I'll process it as well. It does seem to come in handy from time to time. There we go, and that's all the tungsten. Okay, so what else did I need? I needed the electroline stuff, the stuff. I only have two of those left. That's a problem. And I don't have any in here. Okay, that is a problem. Also, this was an issue earlier. And that might be slowing down power, but I'll, I'll check on that later. I need I need to process a bunch of I need I need dust. I need a ton of dust. So I think the easiest way is to make a ton of sand. So we're going to do this we go so we have all that and then I should actually can I can I hammer double compressed I cannot hammer double compressed okay it's worth checking let's not do this next to the cactus I'm also not, not going to do this too close to the portal because I don't want any of this getting lost in the nether. And I forgot my hammer. <laughs> I guess I could just grab the one from the machines since it's unbreakable. Which is a great feeling to have. Okay, so then we get the compressed gravel. I'm going to turn this all into... I guess I can just go ahead and turn it all into dust right here on my own. I don't have to toss it into the machines and everything. In fact, it might be faster to do it this way.
and dust. I think it's turned into regular dust. Oh god, I threw it all on the ground. I don't really know how I managed to mess that up. <laughs> okay, so you can go in here, and you can all go... No, that's 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 a lie. Get, get, get back in my hand. That was a terrible, terrible lie. I'm so sorry. It goes in there. It would have gone in there if that was the sand still. There we go. And that'll get me all different types of dust. Including redstone. But importantly, right now, I need that electro electrotine stuff. Which it seems to be getting a little bit picky with. Is that not how we get it? No, it's from sand. Uh Well, this will get us redstone anyway. I'll do another batch for sand. Well, don't I feel dumb now? Someone was probably screaming at me for that. Oh, right, I put the hammer back. Thank you. So an interesting thing with that machine... Uh, you, c you can only close out of that particular machine using escape. You can't use E like you can with every other interface. I'm not really sure why. There we go. Was that one, two, three? Yeah. Uh, this guy, the mechanical user. There we go. I'm gonna have it feed in from that side. And then the rest of that will be sand. So it'll do its thing. Whoa. <laughs> so we are still getting glowstone, we are still getting redstone. Look at that, very nice. We're gonna need that in much higher amounts though. Rock candy is a little excessive. <laughs> I never use it either. Like, I can use it to make sugar, I guess, but... Everlasting Gobstopper, well, that's kind of funny. Yeah, this stuff, candy dispenser, eh, sugar-infused core, sugar-infused tool rod, candy club. You can literally make tools with this stuff. Oh, whoa. That's it. You actually, it, it you're required to have it for the dislocator. All right, I'll just put away as much as I can. It wasn't a whole lot. I never eat the stuff. I'll just toss the rest out. It was just causing clog. I didn't I didn't need that. That's better. Now it doesn't look like we're having a terrible time in there. Very good. Okay, we're still in the dust in there. We are getting bone meal though as well, which is pretty nice. Oh right, I was gonna add the lapis onto the sword. I forgot all about that. Oh wait, there's no modifiers available, never mind. That will happen eventually. I thought we did have auto buyers available. Oh, well. Alright, so I need to make what all? Like an ember emitter and an ember receiver? A receptor. And that's tungsten, and then, oh, okay, that's what I was doing. Yeah, I needed that.
It is is it almost done with the dust? I really needed to be done with the dust. Yes, it's moving onto the sand now. I think it's still processing through the rest of this, but dust is now going into the system. Or sand is, rather. I basically have to just kind of sit here and wait because this is how I make my next bit of progress. What about the receptor? Does it... Okay, no, it, it also takes that. So we're going to need, like, 32 of this stuff, minimum. Minimum. How much has this got left? I thought it was... Stack. Oh, I didn't even consider all of that. Okay, it's still got a good bit of dust to go through. All right, never mind. I could expand it with more sieves. I have the iron. I could at least make iron stiffened. I could do like seven there. Okay, let me let me check how much space. Okay, so that is gonna be if I did it like corner to corner. One, two, three, so it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. If I just did that in my head right. So I need 19 more sieves. And that's a decent amount of resources as well, but I mean, I got, I have the iron, it's fine. Hell, I've got the string too, to be honest. If anything, I have too much string, so it's not a bad thing to get rid of it. Okay, that should do it. And then we grab a ton of flint. Oh wait, that's right, I actually have crafting tables- the crafting table on a stick. Okay, so I just do this. And there we go. So I grabbed way more flint than I actually needed. I don't know what to do with all that flint. Like, can I compress it? I'm pretty sure I can. There we go, 19 iron stiffened meshes. And then I can do make these. I'm gonna I'm gonna need more than that. Game. There, and then sieve. Wait, I have memory of making extra sieves, didn't I? Yeah, there's 15. Okay. There we go. There's the full 19 sieves. This is going to make the process way faster in here. Oh, we're under the sand now. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen. Okay, let's see if this actually works. If it doesn't, I'll be sad, but whatever. There's a five by five. Oh. Yeah, it stops working at that point. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it works in a six by six. Six, six, four, five, six, 
Yeah. I guess it works in a 6x6. Six six. So I did go slightly overboard. I really do need to make an axe. I've said that so many times now. So I guess I could make the building, like, slightly longer. And that would be fine. I guess I'm just going to clear out all of this. It also might be, like, a 6x6 six six or whatever from that area. Like, maybe it can only go so far from its central piece, because that's all the way over here. So it's very possible that just because of the way I designed it, it can't reach that far. Which is totally fair if that's the case. There, so there's that. So I have a few too many of these. There. How's that? That looks better. Got a lot of stuff in here, and we're getting the Electrotine stuff. Getting it pretty fast, too. I got plenty of uh, iron meshes for later. I'm sure there's other uses for these. Yeah, there's that, which is useful for other things. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's still useful. It's not bad that I made it. It's just... I don't need it now. And honestly, by the time I get back over there, I should have all the Electrotine stuff that I need. Yes, I do. Nice. So I only need like four. I'm pretty sure. Right? Ember. Two there, two there. Yeah. I'll just toss that in real quick. Beautiful. Okay, now I need those plate things. Uh, what are they called? Yeah. The whatever plates. There we go. Got a couple of those. Uh, how is the work on the mod pack going? Not too bad. Making an ember emitter and an ember receptor. I'm pretty sure that's what I need. Right? Yeah, receptor. All right. Still don't know how this works. But I done did it. So we have Ember Transfer, Receptors, to link Ember, or to link emitters and receptors together, simply shift right click the receptor with your Tinker Hammer, and right click the emitter with the hammer, there is no distance limit, blah 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 blah. Okay, so that is done. Melter and a Copper Cell, okay, so I'm not really doing all that just yet. Now. I still don't know how this stuff works. The alchemy through fire. I don't really see any information about it in here. I don't know where I'm supposed to find information about it. I know absolutely nothing about this stuff. So alchemy pedestal, that's a sieve. Uh, pack definitely has its bugs. Wait, and now there's, what? What is happening? It keeps duplicating sieves. I have to relog again. It's gotta be another memory issue. I don't want to sit here and duplicate sieves because the game is broken.
I don't know why I've been having so many troubles uh, with it today. The last few times I've played it, it was perfectly fine. Okay. Reload. And it can't be that I'm running out of RAM. Because I have... Well, I mean, I guess I only have 8 gigs dedicated to it, but I have 32 gigs. Also, sorry for all the crinkling. I'm opening Oreos because I'm a hungry boy. <laughs> Not even hungry. I'm more snacky. And I love Oreos. Okay, there we go. So we have our pedestal back. We don't have 40 something things. Okay, so here's alchemy pedestal. So what was I trying to make a second ago? So it was the, the Dawnstar thing, or Dawnstone. Dawnstar is a place in Skyrim. <laughs> okay, I, okay, so it's the exchange tablet. So, where is that? Exchange tablet. But that doesn't show me anything. That wasn't the focus lens. What was it? Was it that? I don't think so. Oh, that was it. Glimmer crystal. So, how does this work? Specifically says exchange tablet. It needs three. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's two ember shards, another quartz, and two gunpowder. I mean, I have most of that, but like, how does this, how does this actually work? I should have the two gunpowder. Yeah, two gunpowder. And the nether quartz is hiding somewhere. I just mined up a ton of it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I can't look it up by crystal. Is it glimmer crystal? Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. So let's see, it was quartz in the center, okay, and then these have to go in one at a time. Nope, that was two. There we go. So then how do you make it do? Needs energetic alchemy. Okay, well how do I unlock that? Under Melter? Nope. Nope. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Um, Embers Alchemy. This site can't be reached, and then it gets reached. Oh, apparently Embers... Oh, that took me to Embers and Alchemy, which is like a handcrafted stuff. <laughs> it looks like bath products. Well, that was less than useful. Uh... <laughs> Let's see what we can find. 
What's this guy doing? Oh, oh, I, I kind of get it just based on a screenshot that I just saw. So I noticed that there was one of these behind it. Oh, whoops. And it had one of these guys in it. Okay, now beam cannon? Am I, am I missing something? I probably am missing something. Pull up images. See what I can find with images. The mod looks really cool, just based on these pictures. I'm just trying to be lazy and not go through and make everything because I know it's going to be expensive. It's just going to cost me resources and blah, blah, blah. But I might not really have a choice. Copper cell. I don't know what this thing does. It was a very simple purpose, ember storage. It can be uh, given ember using an ember receptor or have an ember removed from it through an ember emitter. Note that when a copper cell is broken, it will retain its stored ember. I mean, that's cool. Is that on the list of quests that I need to be doing right now, though? There's reservoir, refined store. Okay. Mixer centrifuge. But I mean, like, going down the path, it goes like this direction for all of this. So, what do I need? I'm so confused. How does this mod work, people? <laughs> I will legit YouTube this right now. Just to figure out what to do. There's definitely a lot happening. But I'm still very confused by it. Okay, I'm gonna load hey, this. Dudes. Oh jeez. I'm gonna load this and just see if I can get it based on pictures. This guy's actually playing Project Ozone 3, so he will hopefully be of use to me. Oh wait a minute, is that what I was doing wrong with that before? Actually, that's possibly more important. Hold on. So I was trying to figure out before why I was never getting my stuff from this way down here. Oh, hi. Eh. <laughs> Go away, away. Um, I need to put a torch down over here. Okay, I could put one there, nice. Uh, apparently, I need to have a lever. There it goes. Check that out. And mundane stone? I don't even know what that does, but okay. What's cool, though, is I can then take this ember grit, which I don't think has any purpose besides a heat being a heat source, and I can use that to give me more stuff. But ba ding.
and that'll just get me stuff over time. Awesome, so it just needed a little bit of a redstone signal. I had no idea. Fantastic. Okay, I'm actually... I'm gonna go to a B-Ray back screen real quick. <laughs> you came on for your gamble stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go to a B-Ray back screen real quick. I'm gonna have some stuff muted, and I'm just gonna listen to a video real quick. I'm gonna cut around and make this as fast as possible. Just so I can get an understanding of this, because I want to have this alchemy setup done before I end stream, but I also don't want to, like, spend a ton of time just doing that. So, yeah, give me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay. I have a much better idea of what I'm doing now. Sorry that took a little bit. Uh, this would never have worked. <laughs> uh, this would never have worked at all. So. Oh, dear. Come here. Uh, I have to get a, a much larger setup. I'm going to make an entire room, I think, dedicated to all of this. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot more going on with this than I originally thought. So this, is, I think, going to be the next area that I build is going to be for this mod. Because uh, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot happening, and I was not ready. <laughs> Because like I said before, I've never actually played around with this mod. Like, I've played in packs that had it, but I never actually touched it. So, now that I've seen kind of what all it can do, it's got me kind of excited. Uh, but there's still a lot to do. So I need like an ember activator. Okay, I, I need all these things. Ember activator. Um, I needed... I don't necessarily need these right now. I'll probably need these. I'll probably need these. I'll probably need these. Um, let's see. Can I filter it like that? Yes, I can. Uh, I don't think I need those. I definitely need those and these. I think I need those and these and this. And I don't know about the dial. Melter, maybe. Flat stamp, maybe. Uh, one thing I am going to... Ooh, cinder plinth. That is going to be important. Uh, one thing I am for sure going to need uh, is copper, actually. And that's not something I was expecting, necessarily. I mean, I knew that there was, like, copper in some of the recipes, but the way I need it is not what I was expecting. So you have to put... To start, like, producing ember, you get a block of copper. Holy crap. You get a block of copper, and you put it down uh, in a 3x3 three three area of lava to get yourself started. So I'm glad I'm going to be building it far away from all this wood. Because I don't need that to be a problem. So let's go ahead and get some copper going. Better be duplicating. Yeah, okay. And let's see. I guess I can go ahead and start planning out the build a little bit here. So actually, let's put that back. Okay, and we'll just start building outward a little bit. I will lose some of these pieces, that's fine. I'm constantly producing more. All right, so we will go ahead and start bringing this out. I really do need to build a builder's wand at some point. I don't know if there are any good... Actually, I guess I can look it up real quick. Oh, builder's wands aren't a thing. Uh, oh, it's because that's not how they're that's not what they're called. You know what? That's pretty cheap. And that could really save me some time. The thing is, is I don't know how how it works with the slabs, because I've experienced in the past when you try to use a, a builder's wand of any kind, uh, it doesn't like when you're trying to build on the bottom half of a slab. It automatically tries to fill in the top half. So we'll see how that goes. Oh no, we seem okay. Now, question is here. Do I then take this and make a road that way? And that way? And kind of like branch around? And then I can have another road over here that kind of goes the same way. If you make a slight bridge right here over the water wheel. 
actually, yeah, that could look pretty nice. We could build a little bridge over the water wheel. And that can lead us to our mystical area. We can build some ambush things. I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. Also, I see the tap tap cut shot straight in the skull. That's great. Uh, rip. I'm thinking a few of these. I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need. But I'm pretty sure I can just break that. Put that there, and there we go. And then I can do like this. And then I can go like this. Ooh, now that could be a problem right there. Because if I go down again, it's going to break into that water, and I don't want that. So I'm going to build it across like this, and then down like this. I still can't do that. And then I can do stairs. Yeah, except I didn't technically do it on... Well, I guess I did. Look, as long as it doesn't break the water stream right here... Oh, no. <laughs> you know, like that. As long as I don't do literally that thing right there, then it should be fine. Oh, no, I gotta fix that. Can I just, like, bring that over and cut it off there? Oh, good lord. It's a mess. Yeah, now I'm starting to think I might not be able to get the Ember stuff set up in time. I didn't realize how much it had going on. And it's a lot. It's actually a lot. Oh my god, how is it doing this? Water physics, please. There. Stop. We never speak of this again. Okay, so we are on. A constant state of Y87. Okay, here we go, Y86. So bump, bump, bump. Bump, bump. Um, okay, so we're here on the bottom half. Gotcha. Right there. Okay. Now we're looking all right. Now the area that I'm going to build is probably going to have to be pretty large. Which again, not exactly something I was expecting. Okay, so that can lead me over to this area. I can maybe have like another walkway between here, so I can kind of go like right here. Try to keep a three by or a three wide gap between each region. If I can. Oops. That way I have walkways around just about everywhere. Until I get to fly, it's going to be a little annoying to get to and from places, so this might make life a bit easier. I was going to put it right here, but that being... Yeah, okay. Just because that area has a lot of wood, I don't want to risk... Uh, any fire getting over there or anything. And I don't know if that's a thing that can happen with embers, but just because I don't know, I don't want to risk it. Okay. I feel like this isn't going to be large enough. 
Okay, so we'll do the three gap there, and then right here we'll just branch this out more. How's that? I did not count how many I just did, and I guess I am going to have to go this way. Fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So seven, eight, not quite. And that should be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Okay. Okay, that's probably not going to be long enough. Oh, and that broke. <laughs> oh well, that definitely helped in making this faster. All right, so this could be like the starting point of the embers area. Uh, I'm not gonna bother putting out boundaries or anything just yet. We'll get to that later. First, let's get at least one block of copper. So there we go, block of copper. And I'm gonna need a block or a three by three area of lava as well. And I think I'm gonna put all of that right here. So the block of copper is gonna go there. And then we're gonna have lava completely surrounding it. Now I don't necessarily want it pouring down because I mean, frankly, that just sounds like it'd be very unattractive. So I'm gonna have it held right here. Okay, so let's grab a couple of buckets. Okay, so there's one. I should have a... I know I have a second somewhere, I just don't know if it's filled already. Where are you, bucket? It does have water in it, but that's fine. And I could just run back and forth, grabbing two at a time. One, two... Now, I could also kind of sit this into the floor a little bit, but what I might end up doing is having a half block gap. <clears throat> there we go. So I'm just filling this up with stones, so when I come back for it, it's going to be a little easier. There we go. Alright, just need four more. Probably just go right over here, huh? That would help. And then two more. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is how this works. Now, from what I could tell, he technically had a different type. Oh, did I miss one? Yeah, he technically had a different type of copper. Like it was a green variant. I don't think that matters because copper is copper. It should be based on ore dick, so it's fine. Okay, so from that point, what did he use? <laughs> uh, let's see. I believe it was a pressure refiner. Ooh. Uh, things might lag a little bit. I clicked the wrong button and it's trying to open a program that I don't want to open. That was my computer, not yours. No! I closed everything. What have I done? 
I was keeping some of those windows open for a long time, very intentionally, so I could go back to them. And I just completely closed my entire Chrome browser. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, he probably used immersive engineering copper. Probably. Okay, but he had a pressure refinery, which is something I don't think I've actually made yet. Yeah, it is not something I've made yet, and it's a copper block, more copper, a furnace, and some iron. That's pretty cheap, all things considered. I might even have an extra furnace laying around because I was going to make... Yeah, I do. Because I was going to make that survivalist generator that I ended up not making. Uh, let's see here. Then it was a... Where was it? There you are, okay. That went there, and these went there. I had copper. No, I don't have copper anymore. Oh wait, yes I do. Copper. Copper like that, and then I need a little bit in the form of blocks. How's it going? Couple of blocks, just in case I needed another one. Hi! I don't know how you got out there. And there we go. Pressure refinery. <laughs> Aha! Check that out. Cool. I don't really know how that works. <laughs> okay, where was my tablet? Oh, I don't have it on me. Okay. Well, that's done. Cool stuff. So... The appearance of producing ember and everything actually looks amazing. So visually speaking, this is going to be a very exciting mod for me. I love things that just look cool. So this will be neat. Okay, there you are, Codex. Where was it? There you are. Pressure refinery and you are checked off. Now what? <laughs> I gotta pull that thing back up because I did accidentally close it. Let's see. <laughs> it's funny to me, I keep seeing advertisements on YouTube for California's prop position 22 i think it's just prop 22 in general but prop 22 for california no longer matters uh because the legal team in um legal teams for like uber and whatnot really screwed up and i feel like i've told the story before but i can't i can't remember uh basically prop 22 was all about uh keeping uh whether or not to keep uh drivers as independent contractors or to make them uh, employees, make the companies recognize them as employees because the companies have basically been taking advantage of the independent contractors uh, to avoid giving them benefits and all that sort of stuff. So the companies are just spewing out money for advertisements saying, hey, no, Prop 22 is bad, totally. Uh, but whenever they went to court about it, um, the legal team for Uber and whatnot basically said that the drivers were not essential for their business when that's their entire business. So the judge was basically like, yeah, no, they're all employees now in the state of California. Get out. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> okay, what was I doing? Uh... I was figuring out stuff. Just realized you can use sand and atomic reconstructors to make soul sand. Are you serious? No way. You're lying to me. I'm doing this right now. <laughs> 
I am checking this right now. I have to fact check. This is really cool. If this works out, man, I'm going to be stoked. Not that I genuinely believe you'd have any reason to lie to me, but I gotta see it. I gotta do it. There we go. Oh, screwed up. Cool. So, downstairs. Yo! I didn't have enough power for it. That's actually pretty expensive on power, but... That was 300,000 RF for 14 soul sand. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's 20,000 a piece, yeah. Dude, that's cool. That's really cool. Then I can make the soul sand down there and then just come up here and say, hey, can you uh, take care of that for me? <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. Ooh, I love how it prioritized the the diamond bit too but yeah check that out that's a literally oh and i got a gas tier check that out got myself a gas tier got myself some nether quartz another gas tier <laughs> nice dude that's pretty cool thank you for that Oh, we have got a very full storage system at this point. I should probably clear that out before I let that keep going. That's a little excessive now. Okay, I didn't really see exactly how the pressurized refinery works and like what all it does. So I will have to check up on that. Oh yeah, see, it's already getting uh, pretty backed up. All right, here, here's a bunch of gold. Get that out of the system. Here's a bunch of iron, which for some reason I always have to have like an open inventory space. I don't understand that one. There we go. More iron cleared out. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that atomic reconstructor thing is really cool. Uh, I do wish it didn't cost as much power to do that, but I like it. Okay, let me get back to checking this out. So he has a pressure re refinery. It looks like that's how he's creating... Uh-huh, okay. So it looks like that's how he's creating the ember. Now, I don't know if something's going into it, but something's definitely on top of it, and it looked like an emitter. Oh, and that just looks like it fits, too. The thing that's a little bit clunky, from what I can tell about this mod, though, is its constant need for levers. I think it makes it look a little ugly. Not the mod, I think it makes the things that the mod adds look clunky. Um, I just, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of having to do that. Because then it just doesn't look as nice, you know? Anyway, uh, so it was that, and he did something, well, he was piping something into it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what he's piping in. Looks like he's got water on one side. And, aha, and he's getting, he's, he has ember shards pumping into the other side. Okay. That's fine. So, it looks like a sink is going to be in order. Um, I'm going to need to get some sort of storage bin. I don't know... What all would be non-flammable? I don't know if storage crates are flammable or not. Um, which is a little unsettling. 
Uh, sinks are amazing and super cheap too. Like they could have made this really expensive because it's just constant infinite water. It's amazing. Um, but they were kind enough to not change that. So naturally, I'm going to take full advantage. <laughs> All right. There we go, and then I can just toss that in real quick, and it'll cook up that into terracotta very fast. Beautiful. Immediately threw gold in there. Okay, give me that. I think it was a little bit of iron, right? Yeah, three iron. And the bucket of water, so terracotta. And we have a sink. Beautiful. Now, I'm pretty certain I did make some fluid extractors somewhere. Oh yeah, fluid pipe, fluid extractor. Beautiful, all right. I don't know what kind of uh, method there would be with just embers. Maybe I should do a series on just embers and try to, that way I can learn about it more. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so let's do, a sink here, and a fluid extractor with a lever. I don't know if that's working, and it makes me very nervous that I have it set up like this. <laughs> oh boy, all right. Now, I need some kind of a bin, some sort of an inventory system, right? Also, wait a minute, I bet that fluid extractor is going to also try to pull from that, so this might not work. Whew, I actually got it. I was not prepared to get it. So we'll do that, and then we'll do a fluid pipe into that, and then we'll give that power there. There it goes, okay, cool. Uh, new, by the way, uh, blaze powder also lights wood on fire. Yes, I did. I did see about that, so that is good to know. Okay, there we go. I guess I should just leave that on. I don't think that causes problems. I hope not. Uh, now, I need another item extractor, though. That's going to require ammonite plate just for one of them? God. All right. Now, should I use... I, I'm assuming barrels are flammable, but I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I mean, or maybe even chests. Like, would if I put down a chest with items in it, would it potentially catch fire and break everything inside of it? Because I don't know. I would like for that to not be a thing. Item extractor. I'm gonna give some sort of storage somewhere. So what was it? It was like that with that and some sticks, right? Like that? Nope. Probably did that in the exact opposite order as I usually do. Yes, I did. There's that, and that, and that. Not this is, not that this is probably necessary, but I do just enjoy having this type of storage. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna put that all the way over here. Eh. No. Well, that's a waste. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Can't even do anything in a situation like that. You just watch it fall helplessly. Oh, well. Magnetic axis, my dude. Yeah, that would probably help. I've been talking about making an axe for a while. Maybe I'll do that off camera or something. Okay, so what was it? It was like this. And like that. Yep. Then we grab that. With that and like that. All right. <laughs> oh, we're just going to ignore that that happened. Okay, we're going to use an item pipe to go from there. That, nope, nope, that's not what I want. Gotcha. Item pipe. Item extractor. Storage crate. I, again, I don't know if this is flammable. I'm going to just hope not. All right, so I'm going to toss those in there. I'm going to put a lever on. We're going to flick the lever. Nice. Now, some of that stuff might get burned right now. I don't know. Wait, did it? How much of that did it suck? Oh, it took the whole lot. Oh, well, I mean, it's working so far. Uh, so that's cool. Let me make, I'm going to make one of those copper cells. I believe that's going to be important. Ooh, look at all that stuff. Nice. I'm just going to make a whole thing of these. Not like I'm constantly not needing them. <laughs> and do that. And while that does its thing, we're looking for a copper cell. And that's four of these, a block of copper, and this stuff. Which, I think it needed four of which. Which, four of which, whatever. Give me that. 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 Copper cell. And we're also going to need... Yeah, that. Alright, now this is where things are going to start looking kind of cool. So I'm going to set this guy down right about here. And we're going to attach our receptor to the top there. Uh, oh, I forgot the hammer, actually. Yeah, I forgot the hammer. Um, I don't know if this thing needs a lever or not. I think it actually doesn't. I'm going to try without. Yeah, it needs a tinker hammer. you got to link them together. That's an iron hammer. The wrong hammer. There you are. Tinker's hammer. And we do that to that. Is that Aha! There we go. How cool is that? I think that's kind of cool. 12 stacks of rack for flight, by the way. Decided to do the math. Jeez. All right. I will keep that in mind. That's a little crazy. All right, well, there's that. I'm assuming I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna have to put like emitters and stuff onto the copper cell as well. Is my assumption. <sighs> yeah, it looks like it. I'm gonna have to make more emitters. I was kind of hoping that by doing some of this, it would get it would like give me more stuff, but doesn't look like it. So I just got to make more emitters, more receptors. Check that shit. Actually, 
everything like this. And each one of those, I guess it's not technically expensive, but it does require this stuff, which is going to start getting a little tedious to make. So maybe I should whip up that alloy kiln. Um, when can I make this? It takes... Yeah, I, I, I can't make this yet. So that's going to be a problem. So I guess I'm kind of stuck doing it this way with four electrotine and one copper. Look at it go, man. It's having a great time. That's kind of fun. I can't wait to have a giant embers setup that lags out my world. <laughs> What's cool, though, is I can, like, well, I guess the walls do kind of hide it, but I can be over here talking to my little buddy and just be, like, watching the fire dance in the distance. <gasps> Whoa! Hi. You can tame them? What does he do? Oh, he didn't give me his pearl. I feel a little bad now. <laughs> I wanted the pearl. You can make a gun with embers? Oh, God. Player cast super heat item. It was super effective. Huh. I've also uh, learned that this has to do with ash. So I have to be able to produce ash. Uh, and that's what this is all about. So I have to, like... Feed it, uh, I think I have to feed it heat and feed it items like cobblestone or something and it'll turn it into ash and I can then use that ash to power the alchemy. The friend of mine looks, uh, works like a wolf. So he just kind of follows you around. So I guess I can go ahead and just plop down a cinder plinth. Ember activator. I still don't know what a lot of this stuff does. Okay, but I need to make... Come back. Kiln bricks? I think I need to make like a... I think it's just a 2x2, two two, so I only need four of these. So a couple sandstone, a couple bricks. I'm pretty sure I have... Ow. I'm pretty sure I have the bricks. Surely I do. Oh, wait, was that it? Yeah. And then a little bit of sandstone. I probably don't have any sand. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's the wrong hammer. <laughs> and do that. Oh wait, no, I need I need I need more than that. <laughs> I need eight. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Now I'm not sure if I actually have any more. Ooh, close. I'm short by one. Do I have like a single piece of clay laying around? It's like a little extra piece. Hey, yes, actually I do. I'm not gonna bother wasting all that charcoal. I'm just gonna use a single stick. There we go. Now where was that little bit of break? There we go, nice. <gasps> oh no, that was all attached? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Mistakes have been made. 
That's why I use the chisel because it doesn't mind it if it tries a different texture. That's that's a good point. Oh boy. Well, that's some stuff that's got to get fixed now. Oh man. I'm lagging really hard now. I wasn't having frame issues until that happened. Oh man. I was even thinking in my head like, what if this actually happened? What if it just destroyed everything? And then I thought, nah, that won't happen. It's attached to the wall, not other cobblestone blocks. Apparently, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, at least it didn't do as much damage as it could have done. Like, it could have been designed to where the game would just be like, yeah, you, we want, you wanted to break all of that? Cool, go for it. But instead, it's like, eh, maybe not that much. I think I ended up with a little bit more gravel than I meant to. Oh, I missed a spot. Okay, seriously, what is up with this giant frame drop that's, that's currently happening? That can't just be because some blocks got removed. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, and all of that too. Oh god, okay, you know what? I'll deal with that later. I still needed to do stuff. There we go. And then I can do that and that and make my stuff. So now we have kiln, a kiln brick set up so I can do that. Yeah, okay. It's not the prettiest, and I guess I could have, yeah, you know what, I should probably put it in the Tinker's Construct room. So it's not just, so my stuff isn't just scattered around. Try to keep it somewhat organized. Um, so it's a bit more than just some blocks, it's like 25 to 40 percent of the walls at your base, at least if it ain't the floors. Yeah, luckily I use slabs a lot, so that should have allowed some separation. So some things probably wouldn't have gotten hit. There we go. And then this, I can just put this stuff in. And I can get like a bunch of copper. And a bunch of this stuff. So I think it does four at a time. Oops. So I can do like eight of those. And then, I don't know how much copper it uses at once. Just in case, I'll give it eight, but I'm pretty sure it's like one to four. So I should be able to put in, yeah, just two of these should do the trick. Yeah, okay. And that's a little bit easier. Uh, I know it takes a little bit more time, but it takes a lot less of the Electrotine stuff. So that's probably the way I'm going to start going with it. I'm also going to need to start dumping a lot of sand into here. And now that I have all this extra gravel, uh, I might as well just do that. Ah, well, see, that is something I didn't consider. <laughs> something I should have considered, but something that I did not consider. And it went ahead and started using that gravel. Okay, so I'm going to put... I guess we'll just put like a piece of wood there. That looks a bit better. <laughs> All right, we'll add some sand in. And it'll slowly go through all of that.
I would have just spat out even more. Yeah, see, there's another four. So it's really, it's, it's really not bad. Especially now that it's going to cost even less for me to get this processed. And there's another four. So whenever I'm needing a good bit of this, I can kind of just run back and forth. It literally took the required resources and cut it in half. Why can I get one more? Yes. I just saw some more fly out. There we go, perfect. I just wanted to try to use every bit of copper that I had in my hand. I don't know if that amount of charcoal is going to last, but... Nice, alright. Ah, uh, well, no, okay. There we go. But hey, that's 12. So, I mean, that's definitely better. All right, and then I can make emitters. I will try not to go too far. Ah, right, I have to cook these up, huh? Uh, I'll try not to go too far with embers um, while I'm away or off camera. Uh, I might do some work, and if I do end up getting carried away and do a whole bunch, I will, like, at the beginning of the next stream, I will actually, like, sit down and talk everyone through, like, this is what I did, this is why this works. I've got the song from Princess and the Frogs that come my head. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. Won't, won't you shake a poor uh, sinner's hand? It's been so long since I've seen that movie, I literally don't remember almost anything from it. I remember enjoying it. I did think it was a good movie. I, it's, it's just, I watched it in theaters when it came out. So it's kind of been a minute. Didn't I have tungsten? There's some tungsten. So ember emitter. I don't really know exactly where this needs to go. Uh, and then there's an ember receptor. So I can grab that as well. <laughs> And what all did I need to do with this exactly? Looks like this stuff is going well. I like how it shines like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I will, I guess, attach an emitter. Here's a cinder plinth. Do I need to attach something like here? Do I add a receptor on to that? I mean, it definitely fits. And then I can attach an emitter there. And attach a lever to it. And then do a one, two, buckle the shoe. No? Aha! And there's our cinder plinth. See, this system looks really cool. I'm loving this, man. Maybe I should have set it up down there where I could have just, like, turned the stuff on and just gotten the... Whatever. It's fine. Um, and then I just grab... Can I just, like, put it in? I can! Ooh! Ooh! And then I could just stand here? So maybe I should attach, like, a core to this so that I can, like, process where it goes and all of that stuff, but, like... We're getting ash. And to my knowledge, this is the only way you obtain ash. Well, that, or pressing alchemical waste on a metal press. But hey, this is cool. So at least for the time being, I can just kind of stand here. This is a pretty cool mod. It's kind of like... So way, way, way back when... I remember looking through mod packs, and I'm talking like... Years and years ago. I remember looking through mod packs and always seeing people mentioning Thaumcraft. 
And Mio is going, I don't know what that is. I don't want it. I don't care. Give me whatever mod I was interested in at the time. I don't remember. Um, and now, or a little while later, I was like, all right, fine. I'll check out Thalmcraft. I'll see what it's about. And as soon as I hit the stage where I can mess with nodes, I fell in love with that mod. And I refused to play a pack that didn't have it. I'm wondering if this is going to happen the same way with Embers. Because I was always seeing uh, mod packs involving it. And people were always talking about it. But I was always just running into the ancient golems and being like, they're, they're annoying. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. And now that I'm starting to get into it and starting to learn it, I'm like, oh, this is actually cool. I am interested right now. So it's probably going to be something similar. I can't say it's going to be one of my favorite mods. I have no idea. But I mean, it definitely has some potential to be something I really enjoy. So we'll see. Uh, it is 6.05 actually, so it's a little bit over my usual time. Um, so I am going to have to call it a day. Let me see who all is online at the moment. Alleyway's probably online. She is. Yes, yeah, she is. So I will actually go ahead and send her some, some love. She would have just gotten started. Let me just pull up her stream real quick. Muted as well. Okay, she's just starting the game up. So yeah, let's go ahead and send a raid to Ali. See if that works. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to raid Alleyway. She is playing Smite. I hope you all enjoy. And I will be back on... Wait, what is today? Monday? Ugh, I think today is Monday. Let's see. Yeah, so I'll be back on Wednesday. Uh, and I should have this VOD uploaded by Wednesday morning, if all goes according to plan. So thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you then.